section of ESPN, worldwide leader in sports. Now let's go to Dave Barnett and Kelly Stauffer, who are standing by with USC and Hawaii. Eric Aloha from Honolulu sold out Aloha Stadium. 50,000 plus, the biggest home game in the history of, of the University of Hawaii football program as they play host to a team that tries to make history. USC tries to become the first three-peat national football champion. And it begins today. And we are underway with the opening kick from Troy Van Blarkham by the Trojans. And the return, Jason Ferguson brings it back some 18 yards. So Hawaii will go for the first time without Timmy Chang, who finished his career as the NCAA's all-time leading passer. Tyler Gronke, redshirt freshman from Tucson, Arizona, has the unenviable task of trying to replace Timmy Chang. Ronke, the starter, entering fall camp, redshirted last year with a collarbone injury. Very athletic. June Jones says he can make all the throws. His problem, obviously, is no experience and the fact that, oh, yeah, he's taken on the best team in many, many years in college football. So he starts with the shotgun and keeps for big yardage, and Gronke has a first down at the 30. Our Bud Light starting lineups for what is usually a high-powered Hawaii offense. And this group, including mostly new faces, including Ian Sample, Jason Ferguson, Ilawa, Ross Dickerson. And up front, this is where the experience for returning starters, Hawaii's offensive line has got to be the most solid part of their attack because they're the only people who have been in positions like the one this team is in tonight. Three and four year starters led by the senior center Derek Baavi up front for the Warrior offensive line. So a first and ten from the 31. And a five wide look. And whistles and flags before the snap. A Bardet and Kelly Stauffer. Our referee is Bill A. Fan. Thanks. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. And on the delay will be first and 15. Yeah. Kelly, emotion can carry Hawaii only so far today. How, other than trying to ride the waves of the 50,000 plus, do they try to stay with this USC team? One thing is they have to limit those type of mistakes. They can't feed the fish, as, the, as I refer to it. They can't give unexpected opportunities to this USC team. They don't need any help. Already they changed quarterbacks. We knew we'd see them both. And Colt Brennan, the junior transfer from Colorado, checks in. And again, there's a mark. And that's what you get with. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. Dave, remember, not only young quarterbacks, but you're going to get a rotation of quarterbacks. Each quarterback has a snap count unique to that individual, and we're seeing that already. A lack of getting the play in, a lack of getting in and out of the huddle, and a lack of the other players around the quarterbacks responding to his snap count. Brandon, a, a much more physically imposing specimen than Gronke, and his first pass complete Jason Ferguson to the 27-yard line. Bud Light defensive starters, USC, lots of familiar names. Jackson, Ellis, Ramsey, Frosty Rucker up front. Linebackers, Sartz, Lua, and Rivers. And then their secondary, Wyatt Weir, Bing, and Thomas. A group that led the nation in rushing defense last year. They allowed 79 yards per game. They led the nation in turnover margins. And allowed only 13 points per game. That was third best match. Quarterback draw. Gronke. At the 34, let's welcome the third member of our crew on the sidelines today, Shelly Smith. Yes, you said you mentioned that June Jones has had a heck of a time replacing Timmy Chang. He is using both guys. It seems as if, and what he told us yesterday, but he likes Gronke. He says he's more mobile. He's a better runner. But he likes Colt Brennan on third downs. The first five plays of this quarter have been scripted. And he said he'd take it from there and see who's doing the best. It depends on who he'll 
play, but right now it looks like he's using Brennan for the pass. Let's see who is most competitive under fire. And that question is probably going to get answered real quick. So it is Brennan with time, and he's complete over the middle. Yardage after the catch. Down to the 40 for Ross Dickerson. 25 yards, and the Warriors continue the game's opening drive. And Dickerson is one of the only guys that really was productive last year. They lost the top six receivers. This is the type of thing that Hawaii has to do early. You can see Colt Brennan looking to the backside where Dickerson was ISO'd, man to man, make a play, and then make something happen after you get the football. Ross Dickerson, the leading returning receiver for Hawaii, 143 yards, 15 catches, a touchdown last year. That's the most they have returning. Shovel pass. And not much as Brian Manea Faiga drives the middle. Dave, what's interesting early in the game is Pete Carroll, obviously the head coach, but also the defensive coordinator, he's electing to go with a base 4-3 defense, meaning he's keeping his linebackers in with four, sometimes an empty backfield with five wide receivers. I don't think that's a wise decision, regardless of how much you out-personnel the opponent. Williams have reached the 37-yard line of USC on this game's opening possession. They have a second down and seven. And it is Brennan's turn, and it's intercepted. Darnell Bing is going to take this one all the way. Touchdown, USC, 66 yards. Watch where the young quarterback is looking at his receiver the entire time. An in-slot side slant route that was late. A veteran strong safety like Bing is just reading the eyes of the quarterback. The result is pick six. Well, the young Hawaii quarterbacks had some encouraging moments until that pass turned into 66 the wrong way. And Bing, the junior from Lakewood, California, makes it six to nothing. And on the extra point, make it seven to nothing. So the USC defense on the board early at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. Smooth from the first taste. Refreshing every single time. The great taste of Bud Light. The summer is calling, and so are the friends. Bud Light. Great taste for your great times. What was that? something crunchy guys taco bell is open late feed your need for all the crunchy grilled marinated spicy and melty taste you can only get at taco bell want to spice up the night think outside the bun open till 1 a.m or later as the blistering days of summer take their leave, an event comes along so legendary it can't be missed. The Toyota Time Clearance Event. See two of our most valuable players, Sienna and Tundra, take the field, along with the high-scoring 30-mile-per-gallon highway-rated RAV4 and the all-star Motor Trends 2005 Truck of the Year Tacoma. The clock's running, so catch the Toyota Time Clearance Event now. With deals like these, everyone wins. That's moving you forward. Hey, toilet here. Please stop the running. No, no, not just the old handle jiggle. It's the oldest trick in the book. Don't tighten your screw up too tight or you'll crack the porcelain. Okay. Thanks, Tim. And uh, don't forget to fix that chair. Ace, the helpful place. New Dentine Ice Vanilla Chill. Icy cold breath, shockingly smooth taste. New piece of that. Share it with somebody special. New Dentine Ice Vanilla Chill. Dude, that's cold. This Labor Day weekend, hurry to Lowe's for great values. 
Now get a $25 gift card free when you spend $99 or more on Werner ladders and accessories. Also, every 50-pound bag of Quick Creek Concrete is now only $1.79. What's more, use your Lowe's card and pay nothing for 12 months on all purchases of $299 or more. You see, nobody works harder to save you money every day. That's our promise. So this Labor Day weekend, hurry to Lowe's for great values. Only a school like USC uh, with a half dozen Heisman winners has an issue like this. What do you do with the numbers of the previous Heisman winners? Don't you want to retire them all? Well, in this case, the number 20 of Darnell Bean was Mike Garrett's number, their original Heisman winner. And Garrett, the AD, gave Bean his blessing to unretire it. He wears the number 20, and he wore it 66 yards into the end zone with the interception to make it USC on top early. Dave, here's one of the young quarterback, young quarterback makes a mistake. Looking down your receiver, especially in the middle of the field, when you make a mistake against experience and against speed, usually it's not going to go well with you. And we can see Darnell Bing, and he had the flu a day ago. Imagine if he um, would have come into this game healthy. More turnovers forced than any team in the country. Best turnover ratio of any team in the country last year. So Tyler Gronke to open this second Warrior offensive series from the 20 after the touchback. I think now it's USC that had the... That is their first charge, timeout. USC had the wrong personnel grouping on the field, and Darnell Bing, the leader in that secondary now, trying to become a louder leader, calls the timeout. You know, those are all things, Dave, that we see early in the year. The delay of games, the jumping off sides, the timeouts, because you don't have the right people on the field, especially when you're playing a team like Hawaii that plays a lot of different formations and usually four or five wide outs. One thing that Hawaii hopes happens when they bring teams over here is they get caught up in island fever and they want to spend all the time they can on uh, Waikiki and uh, they want to be tourists as much as football players. A team like USC is not that impressed with beaches. They've seen beaches. And in fact, they saw beach volleyball before Pete Carroll uh, even flew them over here. So I don't think something that's usually an advantage for Hawaii will be as big an advantage today. I think that's right. They travel from the West Coast, obviously, anyway. So it's not that big of a travel issue like it is for East Coast teams. But Carroll actually has a house here. And he knows the allure of this place. And he said, we're going as far away from the action as we can and we're going to be business like this is a business trip. So after the timeout, again, first and 10 from the 20, and again, whistles and flags. Bill Athan, the Before referee. The ball was snapped. Full start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Remains first down. Well, under the best of circumstances, Jim Jones needs as close to a mistake-free a mistake performance as he can get out of his extremely young, inexperienced offense. And so far, it is not happening. Seventh year. Last year, eight wins. Hawaii Bowl champions. But they lost 13 starters, including seven offensive starters, including... The all-time leading passer to NCAA history, Timmy Chang. And Chad Owens, who was as good a receiver, return specialist as there was in college football. Holes everywhere. And they have to begin filling them against the two-time defending national champs. Perfectly timed that time on the shovel just to get back to the 20 and avoid a major sack. Manea Faiga with... Terrell Thomas bearing down. The inside pitch, the Utah play. Invite the rush. That's cutting it pretty close, but that's exactly the way it, it's supposed to work. And Pete Carroll has made the first adjustment. He not only has gone to the nickel package, but that time in this play right here, he actually has six dime package defensive backs in the game. Second down and 10. Just a little over five minutes gone, first quarter. And a little move that time. Juanea Faiga off right tackle, 25-yard line. Where Darnell Bing, who has the touchdown interception return of 66 yards, was there for the tackle. Number three right there, Manea Faiga, 
is going to figure into this game plan maybe more than he will any other time this year because June Jones understands that this has to be a shortened game and when you run the run and shoot it's hard to shorten the game because you throw the ball a lot look for a lot of draws a lot of screens number three is going to figure into this in a big way Cole Brennan checks in and his third down pass is complete to the 32 it's Devon Bess and his first touch the true freshman out of Oakland California good for a first down. Devon Bess, all city at both wide receiver and quarterback at Oakland. Devon Bess, a California kid that really isn't wowed by this team. He just goes out and competes. He knows these people. He's played against them before and at the high school level. He's not intimidated, and he's not a young man that's intimidated anyway. This is really a second chance opportunity for him. Getting in some trouble coming back from that is looking to take full advantage of it. And clearly still some things to be sorted out. Each team has burned a timeout so far. USC with 847 in the first leading seven and up. When we got married, suddenly we had two of everything. They had a lot of stuff. Two dining sets, two dogs. Two car insurance companies. I'm State Farm agent Joan Raysom, and this is a true story. We had to get rid of a few things. Yeah, mainly my things. He had State Farm. She had a gecko. I helped them compare rates and coverage. It was no comparison. He was right. For once. This time, one of my things stayed. Last year, 1.3 million drivers switched to State Farm. Call an agent today and you'll switch too. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. Sport is sport. A foul's a foul. And a bat's a bat, even if it's flat. Ten feet on the west side is ten feet on the east side. Football is football. Unless it's football. Now, win's a win. A loss is a loss, but no matter what, you better come with it, because it's 90 feet to first, no matter where home is. As the sweltering days of summer come to pass, the time comes for an event so momentous it can't be missed, the Toyota Time Clearance Event. See our unstoppable lineup of high mileage champs like Prius and the new Highlander Hybrid with Hybrid Synergy Drive. With nine models rated 30 or more miles per gallon, Toyota brings a level of performance that can't be beat. The clock's running, so catch the Toyota Time Clearance event now. With deals like these, everyone wins. That's moving you forward. Officer, I am so buzzed. I'm in no shape to drive. <laughs> I've had a few too many. Will you arrest me? Let's face it, impaired drivers will never just turn themselves in. The only way to find them is by cracking down from coast to coast. It doesn't matter where you live. If you drive impaired, you will be arrested. You drink, you drive, you lose. ESPN2 is College Football Saturday Primetime. Brought to you by State Farm. It's no accident that State Farm insures more cars than anyone else. And Toyota. Choose any direction as long as it's forward. Toyota. Moving forward. Diamond Head, not too far from the campus of the University of Hawaii here in Honolulu. 92 degrees, even by Hawaii standards, a little bit warm, but it is uh, quite breezy, quite comfortable here at Aloha Stadium. 7 to nothing, USC. First down, 8.47 of the first. Open receiver over the middle of the 47-yard line, and Ian Sample is there for 14 yards. Ian Sample, son of former major leaguer Billy Sample. When you send five wide receivers into the pattern, someone is going to be open. It's up to the quarterback to find him. A simple flat route. Ian Sample going to the post on a, what they call a skinny post. A good job by getting the ball out on time by the quarterback. Ian's dad, former Texas Ranger, New York Yankee. His son tried track. Decided football would be his choice. And a keeper all the way for Gronke. And Hawaii is getting some pretty decent chucks for basically a brand new set of skill positions against this USC defense. Now, David, yesterday, June Jones told us that he was very confident that offensively they would move the football. What he wasn't confident in is them finishing plays 
and finishing drives and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They haven't finished some of the plays and it's resulted in turnovers and they need to finish a drive get points on the board. No total yards because uh, they scored on the interception returned by Darnell Bean of 66 yards. Brennan steps up and trips at the 46. And let's get an update from Matt Weiner in the studio. Dave, a great finish. Maybe the game of the day so far. Colorado and Colorado State. What has been an amazing series between these two. Mason Crosby from 47 yards to win it. Got it. Buffaloes take it for Gary Barnett. 31-28 in Boulder. You know, for, for about eight, ten years or so, that has been as good a non-conference series as it has been in that part of the country. Any part of the country. Buffaloes and Rams. We've got Warriors, Trojans here. And another quarterback keeper by Gronke on third and three. They'll move the chains up to the 41 of the Trojans. The Indeed. best play has been snap it to the quarterback and use him almost as a single wing tailback. And the interesting thing is with number six Tyler Gronke in the game it's a called play. Colt Brennan has used his legs a little bit too but it's when the pass pattern has broken down. It's exactly the way June Jones said in the meetings yesterday he would use these two quarterbacks. So Brennan's turn. Brennan a junior from Irvine California. He went to high school with Matt Weiner at modern day. And this crew has seen lots of flags and whistles mostly before the ball can be snapped. And I think Lawan Ramsey defensive tackle moved here. Upside defense number 98 contact in the neutral zone. Five yard penalty remains first down. Down to Shelly Smith. You know guys June Jones talked about what the Rainbows, Rainbow Warriors, excuse me, aren't the Rainbow Warriors anymore. The Warriors need to do to, to beat USC, and one of them was to keep the offense, keep USC's offense off the field. They're doing that, even though they're, they gave up the touchdown with the pick, but it, they, this quarter could run out before we even see Matt Liner. We're assuming they're here. We haven't seen them. No, I've seen him. He is definitely here. Matt Liner is in okay. the house. I'll take your word for it. First and five. Brennan, shovel pass. That time the Trojans on it a little bit quicker. Manea Faiga. Brought down by Ramsey, who had been called offsides the previous play. So, see, I told there you, I is. knew I'd seen it. You know, we followed the bus in, but I did not actually see them on the bus. But there he is right there. We did see him in warm-up. What was interesting about that last play is Pete Carroll has gone to step number two, which is bring pressure outside of just the four down linemen, which is actually a very good sign from Hawaii because they weren't getting pressure by just their front four guys. This is the 15th snap by the Warriors. And going deep, way overthrown, and he had a man in the clear, and it was Devon Bess. But it was a good 10 yards over best. And it was a good 10 yards over best because 98 with Sean Ramsey was still a little upset from jumping off sides a couple of plays ago and he gets to him. Watch him loop around right here and he will show up right boom right there and it's hard for a quarterback to be accurate when you can't step up and finish the throw. Great job and really the first time that this USC front four has put pressure on the quarterback. Third and four, four down in territory, maybe. They got a brand new kicker. I doubt they'd like to see a 52-yarder. Gronke hit as he delivers, and it's a move point. It's a first down grab at the 30 by Ross Dickerson, hit immediately by Justin Wyatt. And you're starting to see some frustration on the part of the USC defender. And it really wasn't anything fancy, but the great part about it was the timing. The ball was out. We could see it from that angle before the receiver's head had even turned around. And then you make a play. Justin Wyatt is that one cover corner for USC that is going to be put in that situation a lot this year. He's going to have to play better than that. On third down on this drive, 
The Warriors three for three. The 11th play of the drive coming up here with Brennan. And the throw behind the intended target, who was wide open, Ryan Bryce Mullen. Would have been good for about 15 minimum. And that time you could see the hesitation by a young quarterback. The last thing to come with a quarterback is actually recognizing pressure, but also that anticipation that he lacked right there on that play. He needs to anticipate that window opening and get that ball out just a little bit earlier. That is not a typo. We have 436 to go in the quarter. USC has not snapped the ball, but they lead seven to nothing on an interception return. And B.J. Fruin powers his way inside the 25. We're also going to get a late hit roughing the passer, I believe, on 96, Lawrence Jackson. Foul. Defense, number 96. Helmet contact on the quarterback. The penalty is half the distance to the goal. Automatic. First down. And you know what that is, Dave? That's a frustration penalty right there. Lawrence Jackson hasn't gotten even in sniffing distance of the quarterback that time, and he just couldn't take it anymore. I would imagine what Pete Carroll is most upset about is not necessarily the fact that Hawaii's moving the ball, but that sometimes there's been a lack of poise on the part of his defenders. And they still have not given his offense a chance to even run the ball once. Again, flags on the snap of 403 in the first. Before the ball was snapped, full start. Offense number 66. Five yard penalty. He made first down. Brandon Eaton. This Hawaii coaching staff has some uh, really wise heads out there. You got June Jones, seventh year head coach. You got Mouse Davis, his guru, Mouse Davis, who is as well known for the run and shoot, although he admits he did not invent the run and shoot. And then Tiger Ellison did that back in the 50s, but Mouse Davis developed it, passed it along to June Jones. And you have uh, Mouse in charge of the running backs. You got Jerry Glanville back for the first time since 1993 coaching, defensive coordinator. He hasn't had to do much yet. First and 15, and again, there's movement, and again, there are more flags. Before the ball was snapped. This actually could be on the defensive line. You enter that neutral zone, whoever moves first is actually penalized, and it, to me, looked like the defensive tackle. There is no foul for a full start. Prior to the snap, delay offense. Five-yard penalty remains first down. We talked about this earlier. That's the second delay of game. When you're rotating quarterbacks, especially early in the season, you're asking for that kind of trouble. You don't get the play in and out of the huddle. You don't get them to the line of scrimmage, and that's the result. Five Warrior penalties. And still 109 nothing in total yardage. They're on first and 20, Gronky. Quarterback draw, and he's to the 18. Oscar Lua hits him there, the middle linebacker. I'll tell you what, Dave, I'm glad that's not me running the quarterback draw against the speed on USC's defense. Man alive, it doesn't matter who you're talking about, what position. Pete Carroll says this is the fastest defense that he's had since he's been at USC. That's a scary thought. We're talking about a team that isn't fly by night, obviously, two national championships later. Lost four All-Americans, led the nation, 79 rushing yards allowed per game, plus 19 turnover ratio, also led the nation last year. Brennan with time, and he will scramble and trip back at the 27. And in that case, the mistake of someone not used to that position. If he just continues on, he falls forward, gets at least two or three yards. Yeah, that's a great point, and it takes him into a much less manageable third down situation. And if you do that one more time here on third down, you're asking yourself, 
if you even want to kick a field goal at that point in time. That's another thing as a young quarterback you have to understand where you are on the football field what you're saying to yourself right now we at least attempt a field goal I don't want to do anything take a sack or have a bad play that at least gets us off the board for three well they're four for four so far converting third down and the grab by sample inside the 15 he's very close he needed the 12 we'll see where they mark him. At the 13. And an injured warrior back at the 28. Ian Sample just flat running over Terrell Thomas. Get the extra yardage, get within a yard of the first down marker. Samson Satelle, and he is the leader on this football team. All whack a year ago. He's a quiet guy, as we found in the meetings yesterday. He didn't say a word. Even when he was asked questions, he basically just nodded his head. But the man can play the game, and that would be a huge loss. Last year on the field for 636 pass attempts and allowed three sacks all year. Two-time all whack. They check on Samson Satelle. We have a timeout, a minute 28, the first quarter. As the sweltering days of summer come to pass, the time comes for an event so momentous it can't be missed. The Toyota Time Clearance Event. See our unstoppable lineup of high mileage champs like Prius and the new Highlander Hybrid with Hybrid Synergy Drive. With nine models rated 30 or more miles per gallon, Toyota brings a level of performance that can't be beat. The clock's running, so catch the Toyota Time Clearance Event now. With deals like these, everyone wins. That's moving you forward. When you're weary Feeling small When tears are in Your eyes I will dry them all I'm on your side Oh, when times get rough the Great Escape gives you 101 ways to escape your every day with our sensational summer clearance sale. Save up to 50 to 70 percent off 2005 pools and patio sets. Swimming pools starting as low as 369, plus free installation on round pool packages. Beautiful five-piece garden collection sets priced under $200. Clearance pricing on Cal Spas. Right now, get zero percent interest for five years or a thousand dollars cash back. Hundreds of styles to choose from for pools, spas, patio, billiards, and fitness. Shop The Great Escape. Buying a new home? Shopping for a mortgage. When you're comparing two good mortgage companies, how do you choose? Pick the mortgage company that offers the lowest rate and fees. At Guaranteed Rate, our low rates have turned the mortgage industry upside down. Visit our website where we post a true rate and fee comparison of 10 leading lenders. And if we're not the lowest, we'll pay you $500. Call us at 866-934-RATE. That's 866-934-RATE. Guaranteed Rate. Lowest rate. Guaranteed. ESPN2 welcomes you back on campus. Presented by State Farm. On 4th and 11, true freshman Dan Kelly from Temecula, California will try to get Hawaii on the board. First kick of his college career. Slide angle. Out of hold of Kurt Milne. And he's good. So a Hawaii drive punctuated by lots of flags, lots of quarterback keepers, some very accurate tosses, and the last one to Ian Sample that got them within 11 yards of a first down, which made the, uh, the decision actually fairly easy for June Jones from that type of range. Dan Kelly on target, and 7-3 to three USC down to Shelly Smith. Trainers just told me that Samson Kelly had the wind knock out of him. He's going to be fine. He'll go back in. That's a lot of wind to be knocked out of someone, guys. That's a lot of wind, but it's going to take a lot more than that much wind to knock him out of the game. Yeah, 311 pounds, and he, he plays the game with a great deal of intensity, and you wouldn't know it by meeting the man. He's very gentle, very quiet, and if he would have gone down, his cousin Hercules at 302 pounds would have been in the game. 
Did you want to block guys named Samson and Hercules? No, but I would feel very good about them blocking for me as a quarterback. I'll tell you that. Well, Reggie Bush is back. Waiting to do his magic should he get the opportunity. Desmond Reed is back with it. And the kick by Kelly. Bush from the 21. Flag down to the 34, Reggie Bush. And uh, as soon as we get the indication, we'll see where USC will finally start their first possession of the season. Carrying the return, holding on the receiving team number 59. 10 yard penalty, first down. On Colin Ashton. And let's get an update from the studio on that one. All right, Dave, time for a Taco Bell update. Unlike the Trojans, Texas has had the football. Salvin Young gets it in from nine yards out. And Texas, no doubt, celebrating at least quietly. The Oklahoma loss is up 6-3. Young replaces Cedric Benson. Now Matt Leinert with his first pass of the season. It is juggled. And Wayne Jarrett finally able to hang on to it for a short game. So it takes us almost 14 minutes. Unbelievable. The USC offense finally out there, but Leiter is beginning his senior year. Heisman Trophy winner tries to join Archie Griffin as the only two-time Heisman winner. That's more important to him, though. Become a three-time national champion quarterback. Fake to Bush. And a short toss. At the 35, a big hit. Steve Smith is laid out. And the ball may have come loose. Tanubasa Moy with the hit. But still USC ball at the 36. So Bush with Kirkman, Jarrett, Smith, Dominic Burke, familiar names, Bud Light starters. Up front, Baker, Latui, Khalil, Latua, Winston Justice. Winston Justice guilty of a pellet gun violation. Cost him some time, but back in the lineup. So on first down, Bush threw his hands incomplete. Danny Catton had the coverage. Hawaii defensively, I'll tell you why they wanted a new defensive coordinator. They were next to last in the country in total defense last year. Some familiar names. Moy, one of them. Kerman, one of them. Kalili Moku as well. And then the secondary. Leonard Peters, fine player, free safety. Rono Manners, likewise, very strong, strong safety. But they basically needed improvement across the board. And it's Lendale White on his first carry of the year. He's near midfield with a Trojan first down. Tackled by Kenny Patton, a gain of 14. Thunder and lightning. We've seen Reggie Bush. We now see Lendale White. And there are very few teams who can uh, match the combination of power and speed that those two have, Kelly. Yeah, and it's interesting in this first series, which is a scripted 15 plays series at the end of this first quarter right here. But we're going to see eight different personnel groupings in the first 15 plays. And you can see that going on already. So the end of the first quarter, USC scores on a 66-yard interception return by Darnell Bing. And Hawaii answers with a 30-yard field goal by Dan Kelly. So 7-3, USC after one in Honolulu. ESPN Fantasy Football Magazine on newsstands now. 
There's more to protecting your family in the summertime than knowing which sunscreen to use. Make sure they're protected at home as well with ADT Summer Special. Call 1-800-ADT-ASAP right now and we'll tell you about our exclusive summer special. ADT is the number one security company in America. And now it's easier than ever to get the protection of ADT for your family. You may save up to 20% off your homeowner's insurance. But you better hurry. This is a limited time offer. ADT. Always there. the bar. The itching and burning of athlete's foot. Lotrimin Ultra gets rid of it with the latest prescription strength ingredient that penetrates to kill the fungus right where it starts. So powerful one use a day is all you need. Lotrimin Ultra, the killer cure. Think the first Superdome was opened in 1965? You're about 2,000 years off. The Romans not only conquered the ancient world, they conquered the future. Rome, engineering an empire. Monday at 9, 8 central on the History Channel. At Samuel Adams, we do 10,000 beer audits in the course of the year. We test the temperature. We look at the color. Martinez think we're crazy. They're just looking at the head, looking at everything. I don't know what they're looking for. We check the lines in the faucets, and we also go and check Sam Adams' keg dates downstairs. If it's not fresh, we buy it back. When we have festivals here, we put out of cold beer in the tank. People try to throw a ball and dunk him in some old Sam Adams. I'd rather put people into stale beer than stale beer into people. You see him in your rearview mirror, and suddenly you're the world's best driver. You hit the brakes, hang up the cell phone, use your turn signal. Sound familiar? Allstate knows there's a good driver in each of us. A police car shouldn't be the only thing that brings it out. So Allstate cuts safe drivers a break, up to 20%. Reward works better than punishment. That's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? Take a half pound of beef, pile on mushrooms and Swiss cheese. Now that's something to yodel about. Ruby Tuesday's Alpine Swiss Burger. One of 36 famous burgers only at Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. Baby Ruth is a great tasting candy bar. And when you have peanuts, nougat, and caramel, you don't need bells and whistles. All right, here's one whistle. But no bells. Baby Ruth from Nestle, the real deal. Back, it's sold out. Aloha Stadium. Dave Barnett and Kelly Stauffer. I see defensive coaches, Kelly, around the country making a note to themselves. Okay, when you play USC, keep Matt Leinert off of the field for the first 13 minutes, 36 seconds of the game. Absolutely. Play keep away. It, it really is step number one. Have an offense that can control the football Both and start. not give it to these guys. Offense. Number 74. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. Winston Justice. Both coaches seeing way too many of these five-yarders. And look at that. They have had it one minute, 24 seconds, but they lead 7-3 to three thanks to their defense. Even though the defense could not get Hawaii off the field in the first quarter. They made the one play, the interception returned by Darnell Bing to get the 7 to nothing lead and again flags. Ball start. Offense, number 74, five-yard penalty. He made first down. Well, that's justice again. That's two in a row. Time away from the game, obviously. He's a little rusty at um, hearing his quarterback in the snap count. Trust me, that man can play the game and makes this offensive line something that they actually weren't even in their championship year a year ago. So first and 20, and the middle screen, Reggie Bush to the 49. He got about half what they needed. Malila Purcell, the defensive tackle, chasing down Reggie Bush. 
And as the game goes along, Dave, we'll have a chance to maybe show this more and more. But it's interesting to see what Jerry Glanville is actually doing. There's been a lot of unknowns. Lane Kiffin didn't have anything to study. Glanville hasn't coached the game for 11 years, hasn't been in college since 73. And Glanville could necessarily study all the Norm Chow stuff because he's now with the Tennessee Titans. Dwayne Jarrett will be marked out of bounds at the 41 yard line and that's very close to the first. Norm Chow mastermind of so many great college offenses best known at BYU USC the last two national championship teams and then now making a million plus to run the <laughs> offense of the Tennessee Titans and so 30 year old Lane Kiffin son of Tampa Bay defensive coordinator Monty Kiffin is in charge and there has been a toll taken because of all this recent success Tim Davis Ed Bergeron now the head coach of Ole Miss lots of new faces working under Pete Carroll this year a strike along the sideline for Steve Smith and Smith out of bounds at the 22. Leiter getting some time. When that happens, he is almost unstoppable. And right there, Steve Smith setting outside all alone because Dwayne Jarrett was the inside receiver running a go route and took the defense with him. And that's what speed does. It spreads the field in a hurry. 25 and 1 as a starting quarterback, Matt Leiter. Motion out of the backfield by Steve Smith. Short drop. Liner deep, wide open, back of the end zone. Touchdown, Jarrett. 22 yards. A flag, maybe because of the celebration in the middle of the end zone. Dwayne Jarrett, a sophomore from New Brunswick, New Jersey. Their leading receiver last year is a freshman who overcame some early homesickness partially because Matt Leiter helped talk him through it. He got the campus across the country and said he didn't really feel that comfortable. He didn't make that many friends as quickly as he hoped. And Matt Leiter said just stay with it. Everybody goes through that. And is Dwayne Jarrett ever glad he listened to Matt Leiter? I believe Leinert and Jarrett. After the touchdown, the touchdown was good. Unsportsmanlike act, number eight on the scoring team. That is a 15-yard penalty. We'll make the try. I believe Leinert and Jarrett are actually rooming together this year. Is that right, Dave? If you're a wide receiver, that's a smart move to make. Room with your starting quarterback. So Jared Paul for the celebration is 13 touchdown catches last year one off the school freshman record of Mike Williams as Mario Danello's kick makes it 14 3 USC leading Hawaii first touchdown pass of the season by Matt Leiter. Well, it wasn't until Hurricane Charlie was over that the real danger began. I'm State Farm Agent Dan Mann, and this is a true story. I'm a diabetic, and so when the power goes out, that's real bad. His insulin had to stay cold. He brought me ice. Plus a check for emergency living expenses. Before my neighbor even heard from his insurance company. And with all the thousands of people that needed help down here, I felt like they're only one. When you need someone most, nobody takes care of you like State Farm. We'd love to prove it to you. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's all about before and after. Block by block. One neighborhood at a time. Here's before. Here's the after. Before and after. I'm Jim Grawley. I'm Phyllis Caldwell. I'm Alex Fiorst. We're bankers, and we're proud to be part of Bank of America. We take a very direct role in community development in a way that no other bank does. We built that apartment house. We built that school. 
People who couldn't afford to own a home now can. People who couldn't afford to live in a certain community can move back. These were vacant lots, boarded up houses. Our work is about rebuilding neighborhoods. It's all the result of one company. A decade ago, we set a goal for community development banking. and It was bigger than any bank had ever set. Now that we've expanded into the Northeast, we've doubled that 10-year commitment. To three quarters of a trillion dollars. We see it as an opportunity to rebuild the fabric of a neighborhood. You know how we know success? When we see the flower boxes come back to the neighborhood. Bank of America. Higher standards. This Labor Day weekend, hurry to Lowe's for great values. Now save $20 on every 5-gallon can and $5 on every 1-gallon can of our best quality paint. Also, get a free carpet pad when you buy any carpet with installation. What's more, use your Lowe's card and pay nothing for 12 months on all purchases of $299 or more. You see, nobody works harder to save you money every day. That's our promise. So this Labor Day weekend, hurry to Lowe's for great values. Take the red one, please. Dad! 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 The best values of the year will soon disappear at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event now through September 5th. Wayne Jarrett celebrating his first touchdown catch of 2005 last year. One of three Trojans to score at least 10 touchdowns. It's the first time that has happened for USC since at least 1931. That's as far back as they can trace it. And the return to the 25-yard line by Colin Ashton. One more look. Liner to Jarrett. 14-3. We saw Jared in the end zone, but take a look at this right here. I mean, look at that protection. That is called a pocket, and the result is a touchdown. And remember the a couple plays before I said that Jarrett ran down the middle of the field and his speed got him to the end zone, and Smith was sitting outside. That time Leinert found Jarrett for the touchdown, and Smith was still sitting alone outside. Tyler Gronke will open this Hawaii possession. And keeping all the way, that's been Hawaii's best play. Snap it to the quarterback and let him head to the corner. He gets to the 34 knockout there by Oscar Lua, the middle linebacker. Dave, right now, Hawaii is very successful at running the quarterback option and particularly getting outside. This is a veteran offensive line. And watch this soft corner. Right there is what is referred to as a soft corner. And Tyler Gronke has the ability to get there in a hurry and make a positive play. Hawaii had no quarterback with any D1 experience coming in this year. They had four new starting wideouts. Chad Owens, a top strip. The Jacksonville total 1,800 all-purpose yards holds all over the offense to fill, and so far Ian Sample is doing a pretty good job of filling the big one at wideout. That good for 12 yards. And Gronke is doing a very good job of throwing the football, and June Jones is doing a very good job, of it, obviously, of recognizing what USC is doing on first down. It's a base defense, 4-3, three, three linebackers playing zone in the secondary with some softness. It's pitch and catch from quarterback to Ian. His third catch for 39 yards. First down from the 46, and it's Brennan turn. And on the shovel, incomplete. Tomorrow night, you're on ESPN2. Virginia Tech looks to avenge last season's only in-conference loss. NC State wants to dampen the national title hopes of Marcus Dick and the Hokies. College football primetime part of Back on Campus, presented by State Farm on ESPN2. Tomorrow at 7.15 Eastern, also available in high definition on ESPN2 HD. Getting used to new rivalries, new conference affiliations all around the country. Hawaii picked third in the WAC behind Boise State and Fresno State.
Anaya Faiga fooling nobody. Let's get a Matt Weiner update in the studio. All right, Dave, well, let's get an update again on the Texas Longhorns at home against Louisiana Lafayette. Already leading 6-3, to three. they missed an extra point. The only thing that's gone wrong really so far. This is Jamal Charles, 14 yards from the touch. 10-point Longhorn lead. They lost the... Uh, Sager Benson, first round pick to the Chicago Bears, and there are right now four young backs who Matt Brown says will share some time. Selvin Young being the first of those four, but he, he plans to see a lot of true freshmen get a lot of early experience, especially against an opponent like Louisiana Lafayette today. So Gronke has deflected as he tries to go downfield. Cedric Ellis, the nose tackle, got a hand on. And the bad news is you got to punt the ball to that Trojan offense once again. A dropped screen pass and a batted ball at the line of scrimmage. Those are the very little things that have to be done right in order for you to control the football and keep that offense off the field. Kurt Milne lays into this one. And it takes a little bit of a warrior bounce down to the 17 yard line. 36 yarder by Mill. 12 01 to go. Second quarter, 14 3 for number one, USC. values of the year will soon disappear at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event now through September 5th. Goodyear knows you're not the only one who depends on your tires. That's why there's the new Goodyear Wrangler with Silent Armor technology. It's engineered with a layer made with Kevlar for toughness and a quieter ride. Get the truck tire you can count on. The new Goodyear Wrangler with silent armor technology so you can be there on the wings of Goodyear. Saturday primetime brought to you by Lexus and their passionate pursuit of perfection and for Tara soft on the inside tough on the outside the second time Hawaii has ever played a number one team first time was Nebraska back in December of 1971 number one USC here leading 14 3 despite the fact they have been outgained 141 to 86 First down from the 17. Reggie Bush knocked down at the 18. Coming up hard from the secondary, the strong safety, Lono Manners. Let's, Dave, let's take a look at that last drive. Inside screen to Bush, who can take it the distance, then go outside to another guy, and Jarrett that can take a dip, dip, distance. A stiff arm, get outside, and then Steve Smith sitting down on the sideline, and then the same play, the opposite side of the field, resulting in a touchdown, this time to Dwayne Jarrett, number eight. Chris McFoy into the game, along with David Kurtman, who goes wide right side. They get Bush free out there. Reggie Bush makes his cut 
to the 35-yard line and driven out by Leonard Peters, another Trojan first down. 15 yards. And a comment or two afterwards. And that is a perfect example of what Reggie Bush brings to this offense that really no one else in the country brings to any offense. You get him the ball as quick as you can. A wrong angle by Lono Manners right there, and then it's just up the sidelines. And then Peters runs a sub 4 440 himself, and that's right there. That's actually respect. They're saying we're going to be back doing this time and time again as the afternoon goes along. Turning tackler Peter, senior from Lae, Hawaii. First and ten Trojans. They have 34, 11, 14 and a half. Another short toss. Steve Smith, a little hitch. And Leinert settling for the five, six, eight yard tosses. And then the one time he looked deep. Boy, was Dwayne Jarrett ever wide open deep. Yeah, Dave, and, and he settles for the short stuff, and that's why Dwayne Jarrett is open deep. Remember, on the opposite side of the field, the same play he threw to Steve Smith outside, and that time the defense overcompensated, and a veteran quarterback is going to find the open man. Second out after a gain of four. And out of the classic... USCI, the tailback. Reggie Bush comes up a yard shy of the first. Reggie Bush, fifth for the Heisman last year as a sophomore. He had 57 plays of plenty of more yards in his first two years. And there were so many people who were convinced that he should have won over Matt Liner last year. They, they had such a great chance of splitting the vote that it's in some ways surprising that either one of them won the high one from USC. Issue, who knows, could be Bush preventing a line at repeat. On third and one, first down, Lendale White with the 47. There's Jerry Glanville shaking his head because I, I a lot of people shake their head when they're looking out at this offense from USC and Glanville on the afternoon has really gone exclusively to a 3-4 defense three down lineman. He's covering the center and both guards and then turning everyone else loose trying to make plays and right now with the veteran quarterback he's getting the ball to the right people. Looking deep after the play fake pressure comes fumble. At the 43. And recovered. It would appear by USC. Yukaika Alama Francis came with the pressure for Hawaii. He's a former basketball player that's turning into quite a defensive end. And in order to shut down USC's offense, step number one is you have to win the one-on-one -on -one battles up front. And Alama Francis did exactly that that time. Dale Thompson tight end gets the recovery for the loss. And it's Bush on second and long with a cutback. Reggie Bush inside the 45 of the Warriors for 13 yards. Dave, I think this is where the game's going right here. I think USC is fixing to roll them up and say, you know what? We outman you on the line of scrimmage. We're going to see if you can stop the run. If you've improved on giving up 252 yards a game a year ago, prove it right now. Bush's numbers last year, 908, 6.3 per carry. And on third and one, Leinert. To the 41. And no measurement needed here. As a quarterback taking a quarterback sneak, look at that surge. You see the replacement of the line of scrimmage goes about four yards. And we're just talking mano a mano, an offensive line that knows how to get it done. And have been there before getting after a defensive line that's trying to learn how to win. Is the USC offense right now preventing Jerry Glanville from doing what is his trademark and that is blitzing as soon as they come off the bus. Is that possible yet? Absolutely. I think that's exactly what's happening. Another deep ball. Single coverage and almost a one-handed grab by Smith inside the five. 
You know, one of the things, one of the ways you regulate the blitz is by running the football, not throwing the football. You don't want to throw into a lot of those unorthodox Jerry Glanville looks. And this is what speed does. Look right there. It looks like Smith is covered. And watch that surge right at the end for speed to go try to make a play on the football. Kenny Patton with the coverage. He was doubtful. He had knee surgery last week. Returning starter, academic all whack. Two years ago, a medical redshirt year with a hamstring, and Patton is uh, down and looked at where that play ended. And with 7.36 to go in the half, it remains 14 3 Trojans. Take the red one, please. Dad! 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 The best values of the year will soon disappear at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event now through September 5th. Doing some free climbing in Yosemite, and then once it gets a little chilly, go over to the Swiss Alps just for a little hella scheme. Then back to the corporate seminar world. He won't leave me I alone. Enjoy very much. Here. It's good, you know. He's my Bacardi yeah. Silver Manual. We'll together, you know? Team building, a little synergy, trust exercises, whatnot. That's hilarious. <laughs> Make the night right with Bacardi Silver Premium Malt Beverage. Confused by the claims DSL's been making? Blah, blah, fast. Blah, blah, cool. Look, the fact is, Comcast high-speed internet blows DSL away. We're talking speeds up to five times faster. More speed means you can do more online. With exclusive features that, well, DSL just doesn't have. So if you're settling for DSL, you're getting left behind. No wonder more people across America choose Comcast high-speed internet. Call 1-888-COMCAST today. Right now, at Advantage Chevrolet, GM employee discounts roll on during the sizzling summer sell-down. Most dealers' lots look like this. But Advantage Chevrolet has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Chevrolets in stock now, priced to sell. With discount pricing, factory rebates, and special financing available, now is simply the best time ever to save. How about a Cobalt for just $10,987 or a Tahoe for only $25,883? Hurry now to Advantage Chevrolet at the corner of Joliet and LaGrange Roads in the Countryside Auto Mall. Kenny Patton, junior corner from Altadena, California, who proved his toughness by just suiting up today after knee surgery last week. Great coverage against Steve Smith. Came off looking maybe as if he had hurt a shoulder. It's second down and 10 while they check on Patton. It is back to the ground game. And all the way, Reggie Bush with a dive. Touchdown. 41 yards with a flare the end of that one. Just a little something for all the highlight shows in the morning. I'm sure we will see that one right there. We've seen that one before, actually, a few times. And I think we will see a few more. Reggie Bush makes it 20 to 3. From 41 yards out, Mario Delalo, sophomore from San Pedro, California, for the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. 726 and a half. Reggie Bush opens his Heisman candidacy today in Honolulu. leaders, creators, inventors, and scholars will come from the same place as today's. The force is with you, young Skywalker. Discover the one thing they all have in common. The University of Southern California. Inventing the future and honoring the past since 1880.
A world of learning, excellence, diversity, and opportunity. Ten campuses on islands of tropical splendor. The most unique educational experience on Earth. The University of Hawaii System. One of the things that the USC coaches say about Reggie Bush that makes him so effective is not just the talent, but the fact that he is as hard a worker as they have on their roster. So when his teammates see what he's capable of doing and then they see him work harder than anybody else, it just adds to the leadership factor. Its 41-yard touchdown has the Trojans up 21 to 3. 17 yards on the return by Colin Ashton. We talked about USC starting to run the football right there. 51 Fred Matua is going to pull and just absolutely annihilate Kernan right there. Ridgy Bush up inside. Ridgy Bush outside. Ridgy Bush with a ton of speed to the end zone and of course the somersault into the end zone. That's a Heisman type of play right there and that's exactly what USC is going to continue to do until Glanville's defense can prove that they can do something against the run. Wrong kick quarterback. Hawaii has proven that they can drive it for extended periods, but can they take it home? Ross Dickerson to the Trojan 47. And there's a good start. 36 yards. USC's defense just turns the receiver down. Actually, that's a wrong ISO right there on Ian Sample. But on the other side of the field, the inside receiver, Ross Dickerson, running right down the hash and just turned him loose. Communication is lacking in USC's secondary. Remember, this is a USC defense that's replacing six starters. Why has run nine more plays than USC? But they're down by 18. And they need to sustain one of these drives. A little bit of a dangerous option pitch that time for Marea Faga. And Lawan Ramsey makes the tackle. And Manea Faga just has to learn that you don't hesitate against this USC defense. Speed is going to catch up with you. If in doubt, go outside. And that time he had a little bit more room outside. You don't cut it back because the big boys are coming from the inside. Brian's playing with three pins surgically implanted in a torn ligament in his left shoulder. His second leading returning rusher, four carries, 19 yards last year. He's their second leading returning rusher, Colt Brennan. In for that toss to Dickerson, and a late flag. As the contact continued out of bounds. I think this time Hawaii got a little overactive on the sideline right there, and someone put their helmet right in the middle of Lawrence Jackson's back. Those are the type of dumb plays that you can't make when you're an offense that is having little success of finishing plays and finishing drives. After the ball was dead, personal foul, offense number 64. That is a 15-yard penalty. It still results in a first down. Samson Satelli's got to know better than that. Two-time all-whack junior guard. You can see right there coming in the right side of the screen. The player is not figured into the play, and the play had actually gone out of bounds. That's how players get hurt. Senseless, and also offensively, you're moving the football. You can't do that kind of stuff. Drive killers. They have been able to drive. They still outgain the Trojans, 187 total yards to 169. They've run 11 more plays, mostly between the 20s. Brennan, and out of the 45-yard line is Dave Farmer. You know, Dave, you just made a good point about outgaining him. Think of Cal USC last year. Cal outgained this USC team in every which way, but what Cal didn't do that USC did do is finish plays and finish drives, and that's why we're talking about the two-time defending national champions. They know how to finish things. And this Hawaii team is looking for the next Chad Owens, the next Michael Brewster, the next West Kelly Keeping. 
don't know if there is another Timmy Chang. They'd love it if there is. That is incomplete for Devon Bess. If he hangs on, he may take it all the way. At worst, they're inside the 15. He can't hang on. The true freshman from Oakland. And a great throw by Colt Brennan right there. He's thinking about, look at his head right there before the ball actually stops in his hands. He's thinking about taking that one into the house, and that's the result. He ends up putting it, putting it on the ground. But again, the lack of experience. The first thing with the receiver is always secure the football, and then and only then do you try to do something with it. Jim Jones says that Bonfess might be, eventually, the best slot receiver I've ever coached, and that includes Andre Rising. Because he may have the best hands he's ever seen. Obviously not referring to a play like that one. Timeout with 4.43 in the half. Well, I think June Jones relishes years like this because uh, I don't think there's any greater joy he finds in coaching than locating and developing talent. That is an excellent point. We talked to June Jones yesterday, and what he... The point he made is that he actually forgot that feeling that you're talking about because he didn't have to do that with Timmy Chang for the last four years. After about the first three quarters of a season, Timmy knew what he was doing and he didn't have to coach like he's having to coach now and it's really invigorated him. But there was a point where he had to bench Timmy Chang. He, he went into a slump and even his, his home city fans were booing him for a while. So mm -hmm. he sat him down and he said, Timmy, I just want you to look from the sideline and get a different perspective and not put so much pressure on yourself. And he sat in for a while and he came back in and it worked. Timmy Chang publicly at least thanked his coach for it. I'm not sure if you know, he repeated those words privately, but publicly he said, Coach, I'm glad you did that because it did take care of mentally what I needed to think about at that time. But the coaching continued even for the record set. On third and three, Bess, but shy of the first down. And those are the hands he was referring to. Here's a decision for you right here. I, without hesitation, June Jones is calling Colt Brennan over the sideline to say, you know what? We have one play here. We have to make something happen. Look for the hard count right here. I've seen them do this in practice on Thursday. Get everyone set. Go to a hard count and try to draw this USC defense off sides. Not easy to do against a veteran group like this, but the worth the try. The is ticking down also. They're not going to get this play off. Down to one. And did they get the timeout called? They did. So, 356 in the half with the clock stop. Monday night, Dr. Pepper College Football Kickoff Weekend on ABC wraps up with the game of the year in the ACC. Number nine, Miami heads to Tallahassee to take on number 14, Florida State, one of college football's great interstate rivalries. Monday night, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC. Bronke and Brennan over with Landville and Jones in the conversation. Here is what June Jones has had to replace. 6% of the catches from last year are back on this team and 4% of the rushing yards from last year. 48 returning rushing yards out of a team <laughs> total of 1,247. Well, he can't complain about not having anything to work with. You have a little bit right there. He, that's as close as having nothing to return <laughs> that's, that's as anybody's true. ever had. But that's part of the enjoyment in his mind. Tyler Gronke in the game. Remember, they've been running with this quarterback in the game thus far this afternoon. Fourth and one, shotgun. Quarterback keepers have been some of their best runs, and that's the case here. But USC forces a fumble. And the Trojans take it to the 41-yard line. Frosty Rucker with the hit, and Terrell Thomas with a recovery. And you can see the hard count initially, and then it's a quick option to the corner. The problem is you're 
playing against the fastest team, one of the fastest in college football, but certainly the fastest this Hawaii Warrior team is going to see this year, and you just can't have enough speed to get to the corner on this defense. But you wonder about the play call, Hawaii really doesn't have the power back you can just hand it to and say, fall forward and get us a yard. Or if they have that man, he has not developed yet. And the quarterback keepers have been their best round play so far. Lighter a strike right on the money for Dwayne Jarrett of the 44. Lots of time for USC to try to add to this lead. That's good for 11 yards with 344 in the half. You can see a deep comeback by Dwayne Jarrett, and Matt Leinart is in the backfield rolling out to him. A left-handed quarterback rolling to his left. You can see a very accurately timed pass. Leinart now 9 of 11 for 103. One touchdown. Play fake under pressure. And throws it away. Let's check in with Shelly Smith. You know, it's fun watching Matt Liner. It's a little bit different this year. He's giving, being given a lot more uh, creative control of the line of scrimmage. And part of that comes from the spring when he sat and he watched tape after tape after tape of Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Brett Favre, Rich Gannon. He learned how they are consistent in their moves, consistent in everything they do. He also watched them, how they read the defense and how they adjust and they make the adjustments. He is much more confident now changing the play at the line of scrimmage. 25 and 1 as a starter. He spent four days in Vancouver in the offseason with Alex McKechnie, who has worked with people like Shaq, Terrell Owens, Paul Correa. Every way anyone has ever told him he can improve himself, mentally or physically, Matt Leiner has made the effort to try and do that. Yeah, from Peyton Manning studying him, you can you can get the nuances of how to handle your team at the line of scrimmage. Watching like a Rich Gannon or talking to him, you learn how to break down film, and all of those things go a long way to improving you as a quarterback. Third and five. And Bush breaks a tackle, struggles to get back to the original line of scrimmage under the best defense of the half by the Warriors, led by Malila Purcell, the defensive tackle. You know, you're really in that tweener area right here. A, a punt really doesn't do you any good. The field goal is going to be very hard for Dinelli to hit right here. So you have the best offense really on the face of the planet at this level. You go for it. Two tight ends. Dominic Bird, Dale Thompson. Flags down. And it appeared movement by Purcell and Tony Akpon up front for the Warriors. Offside defense, number 98, five yard penalty, first down. All wax senior shouldn't do that, but Purcell did. Yeah, the Wiley vet right here. Look at the hard count, not once, but twice to try and draw them off sides. Great example of what veteran leadership, but also what the advantage is of having a quarterback trying to give a hard count underneath the center versus in the shotgun, which Tyler Gronke did this last series, and it had no effect on the Trojan defense. So a good first down, and the Trojans now from the 33 of Hawaii with 222 and a half. They go offset eye. with the audible. Reggie Bush with the timeout. I don't know if they got it before the play clock expired, though. Here's in a yellow hanky on the field. Crowd thought they didn't get it in time, but they did, and so the next to last timeout call with 2.21. And uh, let's check in in the studio with Matt Ryder. Well, Dave, the Yamaha halftime report is coming up. Lou Holtz will tell you how the Sooners of Oklahoma conceivably took themselves out of the national title hunt before Labor Day. Urban Meyer's debut with Florida on the way as well, plus on NFL Cut Day, a decision that could lead to Jerry Rice's retirement. First, though, what do you think of the Trojans? Well, 
Matt is so good, but he has such great protection. When the quarterback has time to throw, he's usually going to be effective. Much more from the coach coming up on the Yamaha Halftime Report. Oklahoma loses at home to TCU. And uh, USC up here 21 to 3 with the touchdown pass that Matt Leiter has already thrown that ties Carson Palmer's career record at USC 72 in look how many fewer attempts about half yeah, as many unreal. attempts as it took Carson Palmer and to get 72. 15 interceptions. How about that touchdown interception ratio. That's unreal. That's that's off the planet. So first down from the 34 and the toss sweep. Student body right. Reggie Bush untouched until the 15 and got it out of bounds there. John McKay would be proud. 16 yards. Wow, that's a throwback to the Trojan days of old. The big fullback, David Kurtman, getting into the mix. The big guard once again, number 51, Fred Matua pulling and getting out there. I mean, that is that is the throwback to the great running backs of old. Which Ridgie Bush, by the way, believes that he can fit that mold as well of giving more opportunities to carry the football. He wants to prove he can do it specifically between the tackles. I don't think many people doubt that. It's just a matter of how do you give him and Jarrett and Smith and Leiter all the uh, reps that they all deserve. And this carry down to the 14. Well, last year, Dave. Reggie Bush averaged 11 rushing attempts a game. They want to get him, Lane Kiffin does, in that 20 to 25 range. You're right. There's only one football. There are only so many carries. That's going to come really directly from Lindell White's productivity and his touches of the football. Lindell White says Bush and I are better than Ronnie Brown and Cadillac work at Auburn last year. They may well prove it this year. Short toss down to the 10-yard line. Dominic Bird, the tight end. And here come late whistles and flags along the sideline. Leonard Peters was over there with Bird. Leonard Peters has been in the middle of every altercation. He's a fiery young man. We saw that in meetings yesterday passion for the game and he's bought into everything that Glanville has said. After the ball was dead, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 86. That is a 15 yard penalty. It will be third down. Well, Dominic Bird did not like being tackled up around the collar. There's nothing wrong with that tackle by Leonard Peters and watch right here absolutely uncalled for you're the two time defending national champions you're the ones that have to be the example of poise they've done that a couple of times the Dwayne Jarrett unsportsmanlike in the end zone and that right there that Dominic Bird will not cut it in the long run so third and 19 a little over a minute and a half must stop for the Warriors line it rolling overthrowing Jarrett So with 101 remaining, one USC timeout, Leinert heading to the sideline, but just long enough to get the play call, it would appear. Nope, special league unit's going to come on. We saw Liner roll to the left and how accurately he threw the ball. But right here, it's not only going to the right, but a little pressure, especially at your knees. You feel that as a player. And he came out of that throw early. The result was a high throw on the other end. Mario Danello for a 43-yarder. Not going to get there. Not even close. Swirling wind inside Aloha Stadium and Danello. Missing from 43, still 21-3 Trojans. He is replacing their three-year kicker, one of the best ever, Ryan Colleen, the Pac-10 scoring leader. 
and the all time Trojan scoring lead. Last year, look at the combined touchdowns 17 from White, 15 from Bush, 13 from Jarrett. Those three combining for better than two thirds of their touchdowns. So there's so much wealth to spread that on most schools that would prevent a Heisman Trophy because there's just too many votes to split. Pass batted down and uh, ruled to have been a forward pass. So nothing to recover there. It's incomplete. Brennan deflected by Lawrence Jackson. And I don't know, with 53 seconds left to find uh, June Jones, I'm thinking, let's, let, let's not make it any worse than 21-3. Well, you're doing about the most secure thing you can by just throwing a quick screen, but that time, a very big athletic Lawrence Jackson at 6'5", 265, he actually jumped over the running back coming to cut him to the ground at the line of scrimmage, and he got those big old hands up. This is one of those with the, the numbers when they hand out their halftime stats. Will indicate very little. USC 208 to 194 in total yardage, and yet 21 3 on the scoreboard as Manea Feige carries. Warriors are out of timeouts. Well, Dave, the other thing about the Jim Jones running shoot spread offense is you really don't run the clock out in this offense. I mean, that is about the best way you do it, but it's about draws quarterback draws and screens that's in a sense the running game for this run and shoot one more snap at least on third down and 11. and Brennan with the give Rucker with the hit on on the Afiga. And the end of the first half. Statistically, at least, Hawaii pretty well hanging in there with number one USC, but not on the scoreboard. It's 21 3 as we join Matt Weiner in the studio for the Yamaha halftime report. Welcome to the Yamaha halftime report. Different tropical location, but roughly the same results for USC from Miami eight months ago, back in Hawaii now, and offense looks pretty good, up 21-7. This is the Yamaha Halftime Report. You know Lou Holtz, the former Fighting Irish head coach in the Notre Dame trying to wake up those echoes you helped revive back in the 1980s with Charlie Weiss, a Notre Dame graduate against Pittsburgh. That's Tyler Palco. Matt Leinert's not the only lefty quarterback getting things done today. He finds Greg Lee for 39 yards, 7 nothing. Here come the Irish coach. Well, it wasn't the responsibility of the cornerback to stop this. There wasn't a safety there. And when they throw the screen pass here, they get some great blocking downfield, some missed tackles. Brady Quinn to Darius Walker. The screen goes for the long touchdown and ties it up at 7. That's where things stand at Heinz Field. Still plenty of time left to go in the first quarter. Much more on the way in the Yamata Yamaha halftime report, including a stunner in Norman, Oklahoma. How the Sooners may have blown the national title already. This halftime report brought to you by Star Motorcycles from Yamaha. We build it, you make it your own. Playoffs are on ESPN and ESPN2. Welcome. The rules in Fernandestein, Alvanistein are quite unique. I hope you had a chance to review them. It's tennis. How different can it be? It's not easy being out of your element, especially when it comes to insurance and investing. Genworth Financial and your financial professional can help you understand your choices and then make the right ones so you'll be ready for whatever the future throws your way.
there are no fans in the stands, no one watching, go ahead, hit the showers. You did good. Good is respectable. Good is admirable. Good is good. There's nothing wrong with good, but it's not great. Be great. Play up. The Western Athletic Conference. Need something to smile about? Visit ContinentalMotors.com. Continental Motors is your home for a full line of new Hondas, Nissans, Toyotas, Scions, Chryslers, Jeeps, Acuras, Audis, Ferraris, Maseratis, and over 1,000 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Continental Motors has been family-owned and operated for over 40 years with seven locations, all with one thing in common. They're going to make you smile. Continental. Yeah, we'll make you want to smile. Right now at Advantage Chevrolet, GM employee discounts roll on during the sizzling summer sell-down. Most dealers' lots look like this, but Advantage Chevrolet has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Chevrolets in stock now, priced to sell. With discount pricing, factory rebates, and special financing available, now is simply the best time ever to save. How about an Impala for just $15,894 or a Trailblazer LS for only $18,922? Hurry now to Advantage Chevrolet at the corner of Joliet and Grange Roads in the Countryside Auto Mall. Welcome back to the Yamaha Halftime Report. Decision time for the NFL's greatest receiver of all time. Jerry Rice has been told he won't be the third receiver in Denver. He's the fourth. Did make the team, but he's now contemplating retirement as an option at the age of 42. Elsewhere from the NFL on cut day, the Cowboys picked up Peerless Price. The former Falcons signed him to a one-year, $2 million deal. Hugh Douglas cut by the Philadelphia Eagles among the notables now available as his former first-round pick, David Terrell, set loose by the New England Patriots. Major League Baseball, American League wild card race, A's in the thick of it. The Yankees right there as well on the same field. A-Rod with the single to right in the seventh in a 2-0 game. Robinson Cano, Hideki Matsui both score, Yanks up 4-0. Next batter, Jason Giambi, and you are so not catching that. Three-run poke, 26 on the year, and the former A puts the Yankees up 7-0. They get a five-hit shutout out of emergency starter Aaron Small. He's now 6-0 on the year. Red Sox, meanwhile, taking on the Orioles as we speak as the Yankees try to keep pace with them. That's a three-all game in the middle of that wild card race as well. The Indians, zeros in Minnesota in the bottom of the sixth. There's your AL wild card standings up to the moment. A's and Yankees technically tie the Angels figure in there as well, technically leading the AL West and the Indians now a half game back. On the National League side, Roger Clemens has left the Astros game against the Cardinals tonight with a strained hamstring. Astros trailing the Cards, also trailing the Phillies in the wild card race by half game pending tonight's results. All right, let's get back to the football. And couldn't have started out with a bigger stunner than what happened in Norman, Oklahoma. The Sooners hadn't lost a non-conference home opener since 1996 when TCU did it. Here come the Horned Frogs. Ty Gunn to Derek Moore. Make it 7 0 after the point after. Here comes Adrian Peterson on the handoff. They just doesn't have an awful lot of room to run. They're not controlling the line of scrimmage, and the quarterback doesn't have time to throw. You got to be able to step up and throw. Frogs up 10 0 at halftime. Third quarter now. Peterson bounces it outside. He did have 63 yards, but it took him 22 carries. So they cut the lead to three. But then Peterson up the middle tackled. It looked innocuous enough, but it's a high ankle sprain. He would have to leave the field. Peterson did, however, return. But problem with the offense for Oklahoma? Well, they had problems with the offense, but uh, when you get a high ankle sprain, he isn't going to be a big factor uh, for the rest of the year. I, I believe that. Robert Merrill, the touchdown there to give the Frogs a seven-point lead, and then this was the major problem, turnovers. Paul Thompson coughs it up on the sack, and Bob Stoops... Suffers a loss. He is 0-1 as Oklahoma gets their first regular season non-conference loss since 1999. And again, their first home season opener 
loss since 1996. Obviously, Jason White not there. They've started a quarterback other than White for the first time since 2002. Peterson ineffective. Mark Clayton is now there. Yeah, but, what but, went wrong? But Bobby Stoops is the highest paid college football coach. And I went, he's going to earn every single cent of it <laughs> this year. He has to bring that football team back. The positive thing was it was not a conference game. They still have the conference to look forward to. But he's got a lot of problems. They aren't tough enough. They're in the shotgun. They don't protect the passer. They don't have a running game. And they don't make a lot of things happen on defense. I'm not saying they're a bad football team. But TCU is probably a little bit better than people think. But by the same token, Oklahoma should not lose this football game. But they're also losing their toughness. Since they lost Mike Stoops, they aren't the same on defense. And they've never really been a physical football team on offense. Oklahoma State has always had great success because they played a mono to mono. And as you point out, Peterson's going to draw a lot of attention unless the Oklahoma quarterbacks can make plays. The two of them, Thompson and the freshman Red Boma, are responsible for all four Oklahoma turnovers. But, but in the past, Oklahoma had playmakers at wide receiver. They'd take these great running backs and put them a wide receiver, throw them a five-yard pass, and <laughs> he's gone. Mark Clayton is now a Chicago Bear. Point to... Point taken. All right, well, Texas, uh, meanwhile, no doubt noticed what happened up in Norman as they took the field against Louisiana Lafayette, determined not to let it repeat itself there. The quarterback draw, it's Vince Young. First down, 16-yard run. Well, they're going to do it all uh, over uh, Louisiana Lafayette because they're just too big and strong up front physically, both offense and defense. When you have time to throw the ball, you can run the football, whatever you want, you're going to control it. And the question is always with Texas and Young is, how's the passing game going to be? Well, pretty good from there. Found Nate Jones in the short touchdown pass. He has a good throwing motion. 39 to 3, that's a halftime score now. Vince, uh, three touchdowns already through the air. 14 of 16. That's, you want efficiency? That's efficient enough to me. How about Florida? The Urban Meyer era began with Wyoming visiting the swamp. Here's Chris Leak. What do you think of Chris Leak? I, I believe Chris Leak is going to be a strong, legitimate Heisman candidate. Why do I believe that? He's talented. He's got great receivers. He's got the nature of the offense where they're focused. And I also think he's much more durable than people think. He's going to have unbelievable statistics. Found Chad Jackson once. Found Chad Jackson twice. 14 nothing. Gators at that point. It's now a 32-7 game. Leak, uh, the fourth quarter now, already has a 303-yard passing day and three touchdowns all of them to Chad Jackson. Georgia and Boise State, this was the only intra top 25 game of the day, Coach, and, and it has not been a game at all. Boise State had six turnovers in the first half. Well, and it was all by their quarterback, but Georgia played awfully, awfully well, but I don't believe they're as strong as they look, and the reason why is they aren't consistent on offense other than the quarterback being able to run and throw. D.J. Shockley has the job to himself with uh, David Green now out of the picture, and he has five touchdowns on the day, obviously feeling comfortable between the hedges. Much more on the way on the Yamaha Halftime Report, including Big Blue. We'll see how Michigan got their season started the Big House. There's a change taking place, a wave of self-expression, and it's being driven by people with a vision to live life, not by some rule book, but on their own terms. Cycles. We build it. You make it your own. Exclusively at your Yamaha dealer. When I pop into a new town, I like to make friends quick. Let's do this. Hello. Look at this. There once was a man from Nantucket. Stop me if you heard this one. Meet me in the grocery aisle. Right by the beer. I'm very near. You know why divorce is so expensive? Why? It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm available. We're double with twins and we're back to slam. Why is everything extreme today? Mega Mall Multiplex Plastic Surgery.
Monday night, ESPN2, right here, 7.15 Eastern Time. Check out Marcus Vick, back in good graces, and Frank Fever back in the starting role for Virginia Tech as they head to Raleigh to take on NC State. All right, to the big house. Lloyd Carr not messing around with those non-conference road games anymore. Just going to bring everybody into Ann Arbor, including Northern Illinois. It's Chad Henney. No Braylon Edwards these days, but Jason Avant looking Edwards like this. Well, this game is a lot closer than what the score would indicate. There were two critical fumbles by Northern Illinois that turned this game around, but Michigan has talent and they have explosive players. Chad Henney to Mike Hart there. Henney, 227 through the air and two touchdowns, and that's the new kid, Kevin Brady, top recruit there, his first collegiate touchdowns. Wolverines roll 33-17. 27 of those 33 points scored in the first half, and they're now 17-0 against the MAC. It was Big Ten MAC Day unofficially. Six games between the two conferences. The Buckeyes win there on their home field, 34-14. Ted Ginn Jr. 75 yards on five catches, and he did find the end zone. One of those MAC Big Ten games, Bowling Green and Wisconsin. Omar Jacobs had a huge day statistically. Finds Corey Partridge here for the touchdown. How concerned should Wisconsin be about their secondary? Well, I. I thought they made a great adjustment at halftime. They went to man coverage, said, we're going to play you man-to-man. We think we're better than you. And they did a tremendous job on defense. And, of course, Calhoun is unbelievable. They also handed it off to this guy a lot. Brian Calhoun, transfer from Colorado, had to sit out last year and making his Badger debut count. 258 yards on the ground. He had five touchdowns to tie a school record. Barry told me during the offseason he thought he's the best back he has ever coached. And ever that's coached. A, ever done. coached. And that means all of them. That is saying something. Well, he Calhoun had five touchdowns on the ground. So did Iowa, which is notable because they only had 10 on the ground all of last season. They rolled over Ball State and Penn State. Joe Pa gets his first win in what many consider to be a bowl season at least over South Florida, 23-13. Tony Hunt carried it 15 times for 140 yards. Well, Penn State does have 22 starters. Who, uh, out of the 22, 20 of them are either juniors or seniors. Very veteran team. Let's get you updated on Notre Dame at Pittsburgh. This is Josh Cummings. The field goal for the Panthers. That's good from 49 yards out. Pitt is on top, 10 to 7. Obviously, we'll keep you updated on that throughout the evening here. Brady Quinn is four of six in his first outing under that Charlie Weiss offense. And Tyler Palco, who was just unbelievable the second half of last season, uh, he's efficient as well, six of seven. But Brady Quinn's two biggest plays traveled less than four yards from the line of scrimmage. Ty Willingham knows a little something about Notre Dame football. Now he's learning the Washington game. We'll show you his Husky debut. Love you. Love you too. Oh, okay, that's my foot. I say from agent LaDonna Young Hands, and this is a true story. We didn't know what kind of claim it was, because was it going to be an auto claim or a homeowner's claim? Having one agent for all your insurance needs has its advantages. And she handled all the paperwork. In minutes. And she made the process totally painless. Well, not totally. I mean, my foot. Okay. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Trust us with all your insurance needs, and we'll save you some money too. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. So, uh, where are you going to go from here? Probably the penne with meat sauce. Fettuccine with Alfredo? <laughs> I meant with your leg. <laughs> it's Olive Garden's never-ending pasta bowl with great new sauces like mushroom Alfredo and creamy five-cheese marinara. Pick one combination of sauce and pasta, then another. Have all you want, just $7.95. Plus, of course, salad and breadsticks. I'm in a really good place right now, Dad. <sighs> At Olive Garden, when you're here, is Lady Luck on your side? Here's your chance to find out. It's the Gardetto's Poker Classic Sweepstakes, brought to you by Gardetto's. A good bet for poker night. You and a buddy can be off to Las Vegas for six days and have the opportunity to play in a satellite tournament on the World Poker Tour. Get all the details and enter today at GardettosPokerClassic.com. Then grab the Gardettos and catch all the action of the World Poker Tour on the Travel Channel, Wednesdays at 9. It pays to watch. Future Vision Laser Center introduces its lowest price in America program. Precision Vision from Future Vision. For the month of September, everyone gets IntraLace included in the low, low LASIK price starting at just $2.95 per eye. No one in Illinois, no one in the United States can match this offer. Schedule your appointment before the end of September and get IntraLace with ultimate state-of-the-art LASIK starting at just $2.95 per eye. Call 1-877-EYES-2-CU. Precision Vision from Future Vision. 
Texas A&M and Clemson as we speak. That's an ABC game and 3 nothing A&M right now. They start the tough road game there in Death Valley. An Air Force, a come from behind win over Washington. Ty Willingham falls to 0-1 with the Huskies after Air Force spotted the Huskies an 11 point lead. They came back to win it late. MEAC SWAC Challenge has seen her earlier this afternoon. South Carolina State, Alabama State, that's Cleveland McCoy around the edge for the touchdown. South Carolina State on top 7 0. Then it's Deshaun Baker. I was very impressed with South Carolina State. Buddy Pugh's done a great job there. They get better and better because they block and pass. One of your guys. You have so many guys out there. SC didn't waste any time. In fact, they didn't even need the ball to score. They're on top, 21-7. Back to the islands after this. This halftime report brought to you by Star Motorcycles from Yamaha. We build it. You make it your own. There's a change taking place. A wave of self-expression. And it's being driven by people with a vision to live life. Not by some rule book, but on their own terms. Star Motorcycles. We build it. You make it your own. Exclusively at your Yamaha dealer. This Labor Day weekend, I get three days to roll out a masterpiece. You can at the Home Depot, where you'll find the largest paint color palette in America. Plus great values on everything you need to paint your home from primer to paint sprayers. Right now, get $5 off one gallon cans of Glidden Evermore paint, interior or exterior. Save even more with $20 off all five gallon buckets. And come to a free paint clinic to learn about techniques, color coordination, and more. At the Home Depot, you can do it, we can help. At Samuel Adams, we do 10,000 beer audits in the course of the year. We test the temperature, we look at the color. Martinez think we're crazy. They're just looking at the head, looking at everything, and I don't know what they're looking for. We check the lines in the faucets, and we also go and check Sam Adams' keg dates downstairs. If it's not fresh, we buy it back. When we have festivals here, we put out of code beer in the tank. People try to throw a ball and dunk him in some old Sam Adams. I'd rather put people into stale beer than stale beer into people. There are no fans in the stands. No one watching. Go ahead. Hit the showers. You did good. Good is respectable. Good is admirable. Good is good. There's nothing wrong with good. But it's not great. Be great. Play up. The Western Athletic Conference. ESPN2 welcomes you back on campus. Presented by State Farm. Well, USC trying to make it 23 straight wins. On top 21 to 3 here and sold out Aloha Stadium. Dave Barnett, Kelly Stauffer. And it really, it amounts to Hawaii making a lot of little plays. And they've rolled up some decent yardage. But USC has made all the big plays. You're right. And that's the difference between winning championships and not winning at all and June Jones thought that that's the way the game would go confident in moving the football little confidence in finishing plays therefore drives and that's what's happened and the first big play happened to be turned in by the Trojan defense Darnell Bing with a uh, interception return credited 65 yards that followed by Matt Leinert uh, tying Carson Palmer's career touchdown record 72 now in his uh, career touchdown total and then finally Reggie Bush took one in. So all the stars that we've talked about beforehand, we've seen a little of Liner, a little of Bush, seen a little of Jarrett, and some Bing standing in there for the defense. And USC really looks like the USC that Hawaii feared they would be. And tremendously balanced. 26 offensive plays, 14 passes, 12 rushes. That's exactly the way this offense moves the football. Well, Reggie Bush, eight carries for 85 yards and a touchdown in the first half. And the second half opens with a huge return for the Trojans down to the 43-yard line. Desmond Reed, 33 on the return. 
Let's check in with Shelly Smith. I'm with the Eva Beach Little League World Series champions. I got a huge roar from the crowd. Lady Oliviata, you're the manager. What's your life been like since you guys won it all? Um, it's, real, it's real hectic. I mean, a lot of reporters, a lot of interviews, and um, I'm not used to this. <laughs> all right, and this is Michael Mania. He hit the walk-off home run. What's your life? How, how's your life changed? Um, more people saying that. <laughs> <laughs> And I have more friends now. That's good. Cool. Have you had the parade yet? No. When is that going to be? Monday. All right, Monday, parade and never be champions. Congratulations, guys. Back to you. Reggie Bush back to work to the 23. Tell you who is the most proud of that FB Little League team, and that is Derek Fa'avi, who is the uh, Hawaii senior center from Eva Beach, three year starter. No doubt watching every inning he could from Williamsport in that stirring Little League World Series final they won. When you talk about a group of young men that could finish, I'll tell you what, they got it done when they had to. Amazing. Story for a lifetime. Extra inning home run. Leonard. Little miscommunication between Leonard and Steve Smith that time. One of the few we've seen from those two. First half State Farm stats 10150 Trojans on the ground. Little edge for the Warriors through the air 144 to 107. But look at the balance shown by USC offensive. In the time of possession, almost two to one in favor of Hawaii, but they haven't been able to get it done and get points on the board. Offset eye on second down. White is sworn for a loss. Brad Kalilimoku, the outside linebacker from here in Honolulu. Dave, this is where we need to see the Glanville effect on this program. Is a defense that continues to play hard, even though they're up against an incredible bunch of talented players. You have to play through every play, you have to finish, and you never quit. And that's all about Glanville. The USC's balance has been such. Only three more passes than rushes. Hard to blitz when they're running that off. The middle screen, Reggie Bush. Bounces off one tackle. Keeps going near the 10. First down, Trojan. And a 13, another Kalili Moku tackle. Look at all the window dressing that's going to take place to the right of the screen. Everyone's going that way, all designed to free the middle for that man. Get him in space a little bit and make things happen. And you have to finish tackles and swarm this man until the whistle blows, or he may take it all the way. At the 12, first down USC. Faye, corner of the end zone. There's some contact and an interception. With no flag, Kenny Patton, who had to be helped off the field late in the first half, an end zone interception intended for Dwayne Jarrett. And the size matchup right here, but looks who, look who's more physical at the end right there. It's Kenny Patton on a 6'5 receiver. A little, a little push in the chest didn't hurt anything, but at the end of the day, it's the one who wants the ball the most right there. Pete Carroll is saying, did you not see the fact that that defensive back, Kenny Patton, had his left hand in the chest of my receiver? Well, we saw it. You know Pete Carroll saw it. They let it go. So Kenny Patton ends that drive. First down, 20-yard line. Wrong key. And a gain of about five, six yards for Devon Bess. Keith Rivers, weak side linebacker on the tackle. I'm really amazed they gave him that interception. That was such uh, obvious contact, such an obvious push off. Kenny Patton will take it. And when you're from the offensive side of the ball, brother, nothing's obvious right there when it goes in your favor. I like the fact that they let him play myself. Each team now with one turnover. The Hawaii turnover turned into a USC touchdown. Brennan guns it, and he had a man, but threw it way behind Bess at the 44. The way it broke down in the first half, Gronke was 
Hawaii's leading rusher, seven carries, 43 yards, 6.1 per carry. And Brennan, through the air, was 12 for 18 for 102. And Tyler Gronke only threw it three times and completed two. So you kind of see the division of labor that June Jones has decided upon, at least in this opening. And the red troop freshman Tyler Gronke from Tucson back in here. On third down, no chance for Ryan Bryce Mullen. Immediate contact by John Walker. Well, if this line judge down here at the bottom gets his spot, I'll tell you what, he marked it as a first down, and then as he walked to the other judge, he went to the other side, the short side of the 30-yard line. That would have been an interesting spot because you're exactly right. He did not get to that marker initially. Yeah, the, the spot makes it a lot closer than... It looked like it had a chance to be, but still about a foot shy, and so they'll have to kick him. Kurt Mild in the, in the punting unit comes on. Reggie Bush back at the 32. And a big kick by Mill. No way that one's going to be returned. Where will they mark it out? At the 32. It's one way to deal with uh, Reggie Bush. Keep it out of his hands. 40-yard kick. When you're weary, feeling small, when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough. Monster emergency. I lost my card. My little one pushed the button. Oh, okay. I'll do my best to get it open. I am sending the signal through. There we go. Hi, Bernie. You are wonderful, girl. Thank you so much. OnStar by GM. To learn more, visit OnStar.com. At Ruby Tuesday, there's a burger just spicy enough, some may be too chicken to try it. The Buffalo and Blue Chicken Burger, one of 36 famous burgers only at Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. You see them in your rearview mirror, and suddenly you're the world's best driver. You hit the brakes, hang up the cell phone, use your turn signal. Sound familiar? Allstate knows there's a good driver in each of us. A police car shouldn't be the only thing that brings it out. So Allstate cuts safe drivers a break, up to 20%. Reward works better than punishment. That's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? Think the first gated communities were built in the 1980s? Think again. The Romans not only conquered the ancient world, they conquered the future. Rome, engineering an empire. Monday at 9, 8 central on the History Channel. Baby Ruth says that if you like peanuts, nougat, and caramel, then you're a manly man worthy of a great tasting Baby Ruth. And if you're a woman who likes that stuff, what are you doing Friday night? Baby Ruth from Nestle, a real deal. Hey, toilet here. Please stop the running. No, no, not just the old handle jiggle, it's the oldest trick in the book. Don't tighten your screw up too tight or you'll crack the parsnip. Okay. Thanks, Tim. And uh, don't forget to fix that chair. Ace, the helpful place. This is Emmanuel from OnStar. Trying to confirm that your door is unlocked. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, Emmanuel, it worked. Wonderful. Thank you. You yep. saved my marriage. OnStar by GM. To learn more, visit OnStar.com. Well, you know, it's one thing to be the toast of, uh, oh, say, Fort Collins, Colorado. <laughs> And then it's another thing entirely to be Matt Leinert. And with apologies to Will Smith, he is really the true prince of Bel Air. At least he has been the last couple of seasons as he gives to Bush for a short game. Matt Leinert in charge of uh, a 21 to 3 lead here. Let's check in on Notre Dame and Pittsburgh with Matt Weider. Now the respective alma maters of Charlie Weiss and Dave Wonstadt in their debuts. Tight game. Darius Walker bounces it outside from two yards out. He's got two on the night. The Irish have a 14-10 lead. Charlie Weiss here beginning there. Second down to nine here. And after Jaron went in motion, he takes the short toss. 
Out of bounds for the first down. Some of the things that Matt Leinart has been dealing with that, that your normal college quarterback doesn't have to. Well, 35 individual awards, including the SB for Best Male Collegiate Athlete. He has one class this semester. It's ballroom dancing, and his ballroom dancing partner is his girlfriend, Bryn Cambert, is also on the USC women's basketball team. Everywhere he goes, he needs a bodyguard. He is basically at the level of celebrity in L.A. that only movie stars experience. As the short toss to Steve Smith gets him across midfield and flags fly from the secondary. So Matt Leinart has had all this adulation, can't go through a meal without being interrupted. I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing Brad Pitt goes through. Matt Leinart knows what that's like now. And everybody around him says it has affected him not at all. As you see, face masking against Hawaii. Now the most amazing thing of what you just said is it hasn't affected him at all. And that's why he's the, the bus driver of this amazing offense is because he has poise beyond his years. I mean, it's amazing. It's beyond just the fact that he's a fifth-year quarterback. He just has that little it that you can't really describe. It's, it's hard to get him rattled. It's an amazing thing to watch. Steve Carroll says you can't even imagine what it's like for him to go with security guards everywhere he has to go through his day. Time out call here by USC. With 10 34 to go. That's one of those things right there between Matt Leinart and Lane Kiffin. Matt was in the huddle with his players, wanted a play, and it did not come. So he's rushing them to the line of scrimmage, and then as he has the, the poison presence to call the timeout. But those are the things that have to get straightened out before they go to Eugene, Oregon, or go to Tempe, Arizona. Shelly Smith, one thing about Matt Leinart is, right now in L.A., uh, there's no Shaq. The Dodgers are down. There are no more Rams. He's kind of filling a vacuum in terms of sports celebrity, isn't he? One that he is most proud of came from when he met the returning servicemen and service women who were coming back from Iraq. They gave him a, an award, a merit. They have to do it under NCAA rules. He said, I was overwhelmed. They came back here, they were fighting for our country, and they're giving me a certificate thanking me for my commitment. He said, it was the best thing I did all summer long. Well, Jerry Glanville knows exactly what he's talking about because he did pretty much the same thing. Went to Iraq and Kuwait, representing the NFL Alumni Association. Did things like uh, sitting in an assault vehicle. He sat in... Uh, the former throne of Saddam Hussein. He said uh, Saddam's Barca lounger. But that's a Barca lounger. They need to redefine the term. You've got pictures of it. They're amazing. Deep, open, over the shoulder grab. Was he inbounds? Yes. Smith at the 20. For 24 yards. Watch the adjustment right here. This is supposed to be a three-step drop. It was covered because of the corner right there, Monte jumping it. Steve Smith just makes the adjustment, turns outside, his quarterback stays cool in the pocket, actually moves a little to his left, and then throws it exactly where he's supposed to, fading him to the out-of-bounds line, get one foot down, big play. Trojans looking to add to a 21-3 lead early in the third. From the Warrior 20, toss sweep Bush, has to reverse field. Drag down, big loss. That won't happen. The hazards of uh, broadcasting games from the Hawaiian Islands. Apparently, we've lost our feed from Hawaii. We'll get it back to you as soon as we possibly can. In fact, uh, I understand that's right about now. USC and Hawaii Trojans continue to lead. Let's send it back now to Dave Barnett. The Ridgey could have reversed field and taken that one to the house. We understand we momentarily lost our feet. We have it back. We apologize. Over the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Dwayne Jarrett for 28 yards. 
We got it back just in time to see Leinert connect again with Jarrett. Wayne Jarrett now six catches, 86 yards, and two touchdowns. Mario Danello to make it 28-3 with 9.32 to go in the third. With a flat. So that drive for USC, a little of everything. You had uh, the toss sweep to Bush. The short toss, the long toss, finally the touchdown pass. The second of the day to Jarrett. Bill Athan, our referee, sorting this one out. Illegal participation. Defense, 12 men on the field. The extra point was good. The penalty is declined. Timeout. So number one, Southern California adds to the lead now. 28-3. More magic from Matt Leiter to Dwayne Jarrett. An American icon for 80 years. And when it's over a game, it's got the best seat in the house. Get your chance to ride the Goodyear Blimp. Watch baseball tonight on September 16th at 10 p.m. Eastern to see if you won. Ride the Goodyear Blimp now at ESPN.com. ESPN Fantasy Football Magazine on newsstands now. The GMC Yukon has the best V8 fuel economy in its class. Because GMC Engineering is all about going the extra mile. Literally, the GMC employee discount has been extended on 2005s and now includes every 2006 Yukon. Get an 06 Yukon two-wheel drive SLE for $30,924 with your employee discount. The total value promise makes it easy. No worries, no hassles. It's right on the window. See your GMC dealers today. Officer, I am so buzzed. I'm in no shape to drive. <laughs> I've had a few too many. Will you arrest me? Let's face it, impaired drivers will never just turn themselves in. The only way to find them is by cracking down from coast to coast. It doesn't matter where you live. If you drive impaired, you will be arrested. You drink, you drive, you lose. Pro football. A game for the ear and the eye. A three-hour party for color. Sound and action. NFL Sunday Ticket provides the most NFL games anywhere, up to 200 in total, and it's only available from DirecTV. For the player, victory makes the game glorious. For the fan, glory is the game. Sign up now and get four free months of DirecTV's best programming package. Call 1 800 DirecTV. Saturday primetime brought to you by GMC trucks and SUVs. We are professional grade and NFL Sunday ticket only from direct TV. On the island of Oahu, Ola, uh, Aloha Stadium, 50,000 plus sold out today in Honolulu watching a USC runaway in progress 28 3 for the two time defending national champions. Van Blarkham. And his kick to Mikhail Kofensis, a very short return and a flag at the end of the return. So on his latest Trojan scoring drive, he breaks the tie with Carson Palmer. The all time After the play was over personal foul on the kicking team number 43 spearing that is a 15 yard penalty and a first down 
All time Trojan career touchdown pass record holder now by himself. Matt Leiter. You notice the the time that it takes them to score. That was a little over two minutes out of 78 scoring drives a year ago. 50 of them were under three minutes and another 32 were under two minutes. That's called explosive offensive football. Brennan for Dickerson. He might have a chance. Dickerson chased out inside the 30. The Warriors with a desperately needed big play and it goes 42 yards. Dickerson the outside receiver just running the slant as the inside receiver uncovers him and he has a little speed himself if he would have just continued on a track there he might have had a chance to take that to the end zone. I was just going to say that Hawaii needs something positive to happen right here on offense. They've made plays they have to show that they can finish drives and get points on the board. So Dickerson rolling up some good numbers today. Running 13 of 20 for 145. Back to the air, open, goodbye, touchdown. Manea Faiga from 27. Not only USC can score quickly. How about a two-play Warrior scoring drive? point Dan Kelly twenty eight to ten And they have five is actually going to be the left of the screen coming out of the backfield. The inside receiver takes the defender away and there's a mismatch right there. Manafiga on Dallas Sarge an experienced linebacker but that's what speed does. He runs away from him. Very good execution, and if we could have seen it, the young quarterback, Colt Brennan, kept the defense inside with his eyes and knew that he was going to have Man Manifiga on the matchup he wanted outside. Beautiful execution. Brian Manifiga, senior from Waianae, Hawaii, a former walk-on, his grandmother had been paying his way through school. His father's been in prison. There was no other way for him to go to college, and uh, so the best news he has ever heard in his life, not long ago, when June Jones told him he was on full scholarship, and Grandma didn't have to start writing the checks again this year. That's an awesome story. That's what college football is all about. Watching the Trojans trying to make history, and young men like Manifiga getting a chance to go to school. The high pop-up is fair caught at the 33 and let's get a Georgia Tech Auburn update from Matt Weiner in the studio. Dave Ramlinrex strikes first on the planes. It's Reggie Ball. It's a big old Calvin Johnson. Lob it up there, let him come down with it. He does. Tech up sevens it early. Everyone worried about the offensive backfield at Auburn and the defense really wasn't that big of a question actually supposed to be a strength they need to cover somebody it appears so we're middle of the third and we're really about a play away from really having ourselves a game and Lendale White buried as soon as he gets that handoff to Lily Moku Alama Francis are there Swarming Lendale White. One more Hawaii turnover, one more score of any kind. And USC's got a game on their hands. They are a, easily a five touchdown favorite here. We're middle of the third, 28 10, and 50,000 plus in this game, about 10,000 of whom are USC fans. Matt Liner checking at the line of scrimmage. And the pump fake looking deep. Wide open, Smith, goodbye, 
by touchdown Smith for USC 67 yards a two play Hawaii scoring drive answered with a two play Trojan scoring drive. Here's a receiver right there. Watch it. It's a slant. Boom. Go. As soon as the defender bites, Matt Leinart checked to that play at the line of scrimmage. That's the one thing that he wanted to do if he came back to USC another year is have the ability at the line of scrimmage to do exactly that. This place was up to pass for about 45 seconds or so. Now it's quiet again. Did Elliott the extra point 757 third quarter and the USC response was as quick as you would expect from a defending national champion. K-Swiss. I wear my K-Swiss classes. They always look right. K-Swiss. K-Swiss. My K-Swiss. Dress them up. Dress them down. We wear them down under. Classics fit my style. I wear my K-Swiss. K-Swiss. I wear my K-Swiss. Clean and white. I wear my K-Swiss. K-Swiss. You know what's insane? You can control the Black Eyed Peas with the push of a button. The music, the stuff, it all comes together right here. Best Buy. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. The PGA Tour's finest and the best golf in the world. All season long. The 2005 PGA Tour on the SP. PBS Kids Sprout On Demand is new from Comcast Digital Cable. Oh, it's going to be the best thing ever. It has tons of quality kids shows ready and waiting so your family can start them instantly, anytime. Yes, we can! Best of all, it's free with Comcast Digital Cable. Super D duper! <laughs> Share the shows your kids love with PBS Kids Sprout from Comcast Digital Cable with On Demand. PBS Kids Sprout. Let's grow. If you have digital cable, you have On Demand. Just tune to Channel One. Holiday savings are here now during the Labor Day weekend sale at Value City Furniture. Through Monday, pay just $5.99 for this complete six-piece queen bedroom package. You save $300. Pay only $6.99 for this two-piece micro suede living room package in your choice of colors. Save about half. Or pick up an upholstered Parsons chair in white or black for only $29 and save over half. Don't miss the Labor Day weekend sale now at Value City Furniture. You just can't do any better. Kelly Smith talked about uh, all the off-season video study that Matt Leiner does. The greats do it. Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, uh, all the guys in that category. And we just saw the result as the Jordan Larkham kick. Defenses from the two. Two to 20. And that last touchdown by USC happened really Kelly before the ball was even in the air well, watch what's going on in the backfield liner checks to this there's the little pump fake and here's what's going on on the other end as soon as you see the defender bite the receiver goes from the slant to the go part of it but the amazing thing about it is liner is like playing a video game he says I know what I want to be in I'm going to look for where I have an advantage I'm going to check to the perfect play and we're going to sting you quickly that's what he brings to the table a brief surge of electricity in Aloha Stadium. Now they come back from 25 down again. The pass is too low for Devon Betts. 35-10, middle of the third. Cole Brennan, one of the Hawaii quarterbacks with Matt Leinard in high school, modern day, Southern California. And Brennan says that he was really surprised at Leinert's decision to return for one more year at USC. He says uh, he, he really expected that having accomplished what he accomplished last year, national title, 
Heisman Trophy. What else is there to do? That he'd go on to the NFL riches, but Matt Leiner says there's, there's no way the NFL could be as fun as the fun I'm having right now in college. So he said one more year, this wouldn't be too bad. Here's the only precedent Matt Leinert is going for. In the mid-70s, Ohio State's Archie Griffin won back-to-back -back Heismans. And uh, if Leinert can pull that off, that will be a club of two. Yeah, that's certainly, that's certainly the standard. You can see what the returning Heisman winners have done. And Archie Griffin sitting at the top. He sets the standard. The thing about the return of Matt Leinert, you, you go back to a set down conference with Matt Leinert, his mom and dad, and a brother, and you think of the things that were said. Basically, his dad was neutral, his mom and brother wanted him to leave and go to the NFL, but Matt Leinert basically said, you know what, I'm not healthy. I have an elbow that has given me problems. I have a hernia that, it, that slowed me down throughout the last season. I do not want to go into the combine, the scouting combine, and put that on the line. I would rather get healed up, come back for one more season, get a thousand more bullets, and go from there. I think that was the least reported factor in that decision. Up to the 33. And it's understandable. I mean, it's understandable, Dave, because it's a great story. But the bottom line is it's a great story regardless. But the young man was not altogether healthy, and it was not a great time to leave. Yes, the college experience is wonderful, and the young players that are sophomores, juniors, can learn from that, and hopefully that will set a precedence. But the bottom line is he also wasn't a healthy young man at the time. He had tendonitis surgery in January on the throwing elbow. He has also had eye difficulties throughout his life. Left eye not perfectly aligned with his right. Surgery at 18 months and again before he started high school. As Brennan is dragged down at 37. Down for more to Shelly Smith. You know, Matt Liner understands what he is risking this season, and that's one reason why his family took out an additional insurance policy. His dad took one out for a million dollars last year. They mortgaged the home to take out another one this year. He wouldn't say for how much or what the premium was. He just said it, just that it's enough. And I asked Matt, I said, if you wouldn't be able to take out that insurance policy, if you weren't allowed to, how would that have affected your decision? And he said, you know, it's very important. I know what I'm risking. I, I don't play like the idea I'm going to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt but I do know that if I do there will be some money coming back uh, I think I, he, it might have affected his decision that he, if he couldn't have done it he would have gone pro because he understands what, what he is risking out here well it, it's a lot but on the other hand with the team he has around him if there's any quarterback in the country who has reason to think he can get through a year and not take too many hard hits it would be Matt Leonard I would say 25 sacks a year ago from this offensive line and they're better this year his backside is protected by Winston Justice the best offensive lineman in the program right now who was not even in the picture a year ago and he protects Matt Leonard's bats backside from that right tackle position third and six for the Warriors they hit their first four third down conversions and they hit none of their last five breaking away from the initial contact and continuing to midfield that time Ryan Bryce Mullen for 14 yards before Terrell Thomas finally catches it a nice little pitch and catch right here he's just going to sit down outside Bryce Mullen then you have to make something happen he didn't have the first down right there you can see the punch by Darrell Darnell Bing right at the end to try to get that ball out but a very heads up play those insurance policies you're talking about some premiums they can go anywhere from fifteen thousand dollars for a million dollars of coverage to two hundred grand for ten million worth of coverage this depends on how much you think you might be giving up if you can't play in the NFL Gronke guns it and it was right to Grice Mullen and he can't hang on Maybe we ought to take out some insurance on us. Do you think that's a good idea? I never even thought about it I until reading that. I have nothing worth insuring, I don't think. I beg to differ. I did not want to do this myself. <laughs> you know what? On that play right there, it was another opportunity for us to see that 
up front is the issue for this USC team. And they're replacing Sean Cody and Mike Patterson at the defensive tackle position. This defensive line has gotten zero pressure by themselves on this Hawaii quarterback. Rocking. And again, Bryce Mullen, late flag. Maybe for a late hit on Bronke. Back in the back for you. With Sean Ramsey losing his head. Rucking the passer. 98. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic. Touchdown. Now, this isn't just an overzealous roughing the passer. I got there a little bit late. It's not right there. It's right there. You cannot lose your poise like that. You're talking about the defending champions. It's not going to make a difference today, but sometime when the game hangs in the balance, that could be the difference. That's a position that's under the microscope, too, because LaJuan Ramsey is replacing the Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year, Sean Cody. Second round pick of the Lions. We need a high level of play. Boy, a dangerous option pitch from Gronke. And uh, Dave Farmer hangs on to it. That pitch is an inch away from going 70 yards the other way for USC touchdown. I was at practice at Thursday and you saw some of this right here. You don't just have to change the angle of a throw sometimes you have to change the angle of a pitch I wouldn't recommend that very many times but that was a tremendous heads up play and that's what June Jones said about that young man right there Tyler Bronke is he is a competitor and come game time his level of play is elevated greatly back in comes Colt Brennan second down and two and they blitz him and nail him at the 27. Dallas starts the strong side linebacker. The only returning linebacker starter out of Granite Bay. Just a lack of recognition by a young quarterback. Cole Brennan really didn't even look to his right because the pattern that he wanted to throw was to the left. But you have to be aware when the outside linebacker lock walks up to the line of scrimmage, that generally means he's coming. He has to be accounted for. If not, he's on you. Get rid of the football. So a third and six from the 26 of the Trojans. Brennan beats the blitz and had to get rid of it. Pattern was broken off. Dallas starts again coming hard from linebacker. That was a good job of getting rid of the football. He didn't know that he was about ready to get hit right in the middle of the back. Pressure again. They're not getting pressure from the front four. So head coach Pete Carroll, defensive coordinator Pete Carroll, he's having to bring extra guys to get to the quarterback. Brennan's going to stay in. They're going to go for it, of course, here on fourth and six. Junior college transfer from Saddleback Community College in California. Also spent some time at the Colorado program. And he steps up, spins, finally dropped at the 31-yard line, and USC will take over from there. As Lawrence Jackson and Colin Ashton meet at the quarterback. So again, the Warriors are able to move between the 20s, and that's when the USC defense says, all right, that's enough. And that's the definition of a young football team. They can do a lot of good things, but it's hard to finish. Finish plays, finish blocks, finish catches, and then ultimately finish drives to get points on the board. Wise put 308 total yards up, 255 through the air. USC 369 total, 278 through the air. As Leinert remains the quarterback, gives to Lindale White. 
The ESPN College Football Encyclopedia is the biggest, richest reference guide ever published in the history of college football. On the history of college football, read about the profiles, records, and statistical leaders, the fight song lyrics of all 119 Division I programs, the Ivy League schools, and the most prominent historically black colleges dating back to 1869. Box scores for every major bowl game ever played. Vote breakdowns for every Heisman race, a complete list of every year's consensus. All America is available now wherever books are sold. Liner deep again, wide open over the middle. Smith to the seven. And Hawaii has no answer for Liner to Smith. This time they hit for 54 yards. Tell you what, the Pac-10 better get ready for what Matt Leinart is being allowed to do at the line of scrimmage. Once again, he checks to what he wants. It was the same slant and go as he threw the touchdown to Steve Smith. But this time, Hawaii adjusted to that slant and go. He actually went to the opposite side of the field and still found Steve Smith running down the middle of the middle of the hash. Two tight ends, I formation, first and goal. Reggie Bush is he in a mark him down inches shy about inside the one second and goal from there well Reggie wants to prove that he's an inside the tackle runner as well as the electric when I get outside I'll see you later type of runner and that's the type of play down on the goal line. He believes he has something to prove and right now it really doesn't make any difference who's at running back that offensive line from USC is lathered up and getting after him. three tight ends Reggie Bush again standing up touchdown his second of the day 41 10 Trojans. Reggie Bush, known as the president in a few years, he's going to be able to say what Babe Ruth said back in the 20s about the president. When people say, why do you make more money than the president? Reggie Bush is going to be able to say, because I had a better year than he had. That's not too far off from happening. Another extra point by Danello. And USC with 2.27 to go in the third, 42-10 over Hawaii. Bush's numbers now up to 86 yards, 7.2 per carry. Pete Carroll says it's real easy to coach when your best players are also your hardest workers. And he yeah. says Reggie Bush is a phenomenal practice worker. We've already heard the stories about Matt Leinart and Reggie Bush. Absolutely. He went, he went to work putting on weight to do that very thing he's been doing running inside the tackles and it's really the the Chicago Bulls of old Michael Jordan taught people to do that you can't outwork me and then I'll show you how to take that to the field and play or to the hard court in his case that's exactly what's happening at the college level Reggie Bush refuses to be outworked fact, he refuses to take breaks if his position is given a break he'll go over he'll find something else to work his pass catching, his kick returning, whatever there is to do. And Larkham to the goal line. Mikhail Kofensis. And the ball comes loose. Is this a recovery for a touchdown? Yes! USC Desmond Reed takes the fumble in 17 yards for a touchdown. I think the floodgates officially have opened up. New and varied ways to add to the lead. They're getting creative. And the really, special teams now make it. Yeah, and we've 10. been seeing this all day. Remember, where incredible recruiting classes first show up is right here on special teams. Desmond Reed is the third tailback on this team that probably won't see the light of day at least for another year if White and Bush bypass their senior seasons. 
But that's where the talent of recruiting shows up. Speed and talent on special teams make a huge difference. And now on the PAT, let's look at it again. Was the ball down? It was ruled not to have been, but let's see where Desmond Reed gets possession. Ball out right there. The knee goes down, but that first hit, the ball is already laying off to his left side. And Desmond Reed just simply had to bend down, turn around, and find the goal line, take off. No instant replay in the whack. 49 to 10 USC by 39 they have rolled up a 28 point third quarter speaking of instant replay nine of the 11 division 1a conferences have adopted instant replay the Sun Belt and the WAC won't use instant replay the Mountain West is going to use the NFL coaching challenge rule and the, and that, that's going to delay some games but I think the basic reaction around college football to uh, how the Big Ten instituted it last year was the delays were shorter and they pretty much got the same job done. I really did. I think it's a great move. And, and the the whack really it was it was an issue really about money. It's about four thousand dollars for equipment to set it up. But this is the test ground right here at Aloha Stadium. The home games for Hawaii the WAC is going to test their system throughout this year with the idea of quite possibly adopting some version of it a year from now. A yard deep. And the return to the 22 by Andre Taylor, Matt Weiner, an update. Notre Dame in Pittsburgh. The circuit. All right, Dave, the Irish moving the ball on Pittsburgh. Watch this little play action. Brady Quinn, and look at the great catch from Jeff Samarja in the end zone. That made it 28-10 Pittsburgh. Rashad Powers Neal has since added a touchdown, 35-13 there. Meanwhile, Georgia Tech still leading by 10 at Auburn. Well, the debate's been around for years. Can Notre Dame, with its academic standards, ever beat Notre Dame again? The way Notre Dame fans expect Notre Dame to be. Ryan Bryce Mullen makes that catch. I think the answer to that question, having Charlie Weiss there, is giving you the the best opportunity to do just that. Bringing really a business-like attitude. Very simple. This is what we're going to do. Go out and get it done as best you can. Learn how to play the game. They're not going to have a problem getting athletes there. It's just a matter of plugging them in the right system and letting them play. But I think the fact that Urban Meyer, who has wanted his entire life to coach Notre Dame, turned it down, was, uh, was really an eye-opening, troubling development. Another fumble. Was this a catch and a recovery? It is. It is Trojan ball. Bess coughs it up. Kyle Moore gets the recovery for the Trojans. A very good job right here by number one, Grace Mullen. Actually, it was inside of him. Devin Bess, you have to secure the football. Those are the type of things that June Jones talked about. He didn't know how these guys would respond. You know, it's, it's different in practice. You're not getting knocked all over the place. You're getting hit from all angles in a real football game. How do you finish the play? Do you hang on to it or do you lay it on the ground like Devin Best did right there? Well, Matt Leinert's afternoon would appear to be over. John David Booty is in a quarterback, and he wastes no time going deep. Intended for Steve Smith and incomplete. John David Booty, the sophomore from Shreveport, Brother of Josh, who was at LSU for a couple of years. Spent some time with the, the Marlins organization, with the Cleveland Browns. John David Booty, the uh, heir apparent once Matt Leinert finished up his USC career. John David Booty will have two more years of eligibility. And with a minute 15 to go in the third, he's got it. At the 36, second down. White. A hard fought gain of five. 
Hawaii letting this thing get out of hand. It was seven to three after the first, 21 to three after the half. Very briefly, the third quarter after a two-play scoring drive, the Warriors had some hope. USC answered with its own two-play scoring drive, and that's one of four third-quarter touchdowns the Trojans have rolled up to make it 49 to 10. Three wide look on third and five for Booty. White with a cutback and a first down to the 25. And I would be amazed if we don't see just a boatload of that stuff right there. He's getting a hat on a hat. We're running right at him. It's a great way to toughen up your offense for something that you're going to face maybe about three, four, five times down the road. Well, if indeed we've seen all of Liner, we're going to see is Heisman candidacy got off to a good start 18 for 24 332 yards three touchdowns one interception not a bad first week and trying to repeat booty goes way back to the near side and Chris McFoy who backs up Steve Smith at a wide receiver spot at the 18, that's the end of the third quarter. USC stretches the lead with four third quarter touchdowns to make it 49 to 10. ESPN Fantasy Football Magazine on newsstands now. The GMC Yukon has the best V8 fuel economy in its class because GMC engineering is all about going the extra mile. Literally, the GMC employee discount has been extended on 2005s and now includes every 2006 Yukon. Get an 06 Yukon two-wheel drive SLE for $30,924 with your employee discount. The total value promise makes it easy. No worries, no hassles. It's right on the window. See your GMC dealers today. System from Gillette. M3 Power with a bold new look. Press the button. Nothing shaves better. We guarantee it. Boost the performance. Feel the power of the world's closest, most comfortable shave. New M3 Power Nitro from Gillette. The itching and burning of athlete's foot. Lotrimin Ultra gets rid of it with the latest prescription strength ingredient that penetrates to kill the fungus right where it starts. So powerful one use a day is all you need. Lotrimin Ultra, the killer cure. Nice vanilla chill. Icy cold breath, shockingly smooth taste. Give me a piece of that. Share it with somebody special. New Denty Nice vanilla chill. Dude, that's cool. Kind of a blustery late Saturday afternoon here in Honolulu. Sold out Aloha Stadium, 50,000 plus. Dave Barnett 
Kelly Soffer, Shelly Smith. ESPN2 primetime college football opening weekend of the season. And the number one team in the nation looks every bit the part as Lendale White powers his way, takes the pile inside the 10 yard line. Where Lono Manders finally drags him down. USC leading 49 to 10 as we begin the fourth quarter. As we saw in that play right there, Kamaka Viva Ole, number one, had a clear shot in the backfield on Lindell White and didn't finish the play. That's what killed this Hawaii defense a year ago, is they could not tackle well to finish plays, and that's what Glanville is trying to change. Change the attitude. Took over a group that was number 116 out of 117 in total defense last year. White again. Dragged down by Kamaka Ivo Ole, senior from here in Honolulu. Mostly second teamers out there now for Pete Carroll. Matt Leiter giving way to John David Booty late in the third quarter. Leiter throwing for 332 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Fred Matua, number 51, the starting right guard, is down on the turf right now. And that's the thing. One of the quickest things that can abort this whole ship, and that's injuries to key places. You know, they're very talented and can absorb some of those things, but more than one at the specific spot, especially like in this case, the offensive line, it's tough to keep the momentum. Fred Matua Jr. from Wilmington, California. Well known cousin, Manu Tuyasasopo. Former UCLA Bruin. So as they check on Fred Matua, we have a timeout 14 08, fourth quarter in Honolulu. Man, this thing is smunchy. Smunchy? Soft, melty, crunchy. It's smunchy. I'm thinking profilty. Crunchy, soft, melty. No, it's more about crunchy, chewy, cheesy. How about crunchy wheezy? I love you. Awkward. <laughs> I love you. Taco Bell's Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Warm flatbread covered in three melted cheeses, wrapped around a crunchy taco and topped with a zesty pepper jack sauce. For a textural taste sensation, think outside the bun. A rainy day is my chance to be home. Be a fan. Be a kid. Be lazy. There are no rainy days. My life is about never settling. That's why my card is American Express. On the outside, you're gonna have to be tough on the inside. It's Honda's lowest rate of the year 2.9% on cruisers, 2.9% on sport bikes, 2.9% on ATVs, 2.9% on aqua tracks. Until September 6th, get an unbelievably low 2.9% fixed APR on every single Honda. Plus, up to $500 in factory-to-dealer incentives. There's only one place to go for 2.9% fixed APR financing. The Honda Labor Day sales event. Hurry. Offer ends September 6th. One thing that worked out well for Jerry Glanville, he didn't really have to do much to his uh, wardrobe because the man in black... That's a nice with, looking shirt. Came right to there. school. It's already changed from green to black. And a second and goal from the five. Offset eye booty. 
Looking in zone to the back of the end zone and a one handed attempt by Fred Davis is incomplete. Well Fred needs to get his other hand up there and he has himself a touchdown catch. Sometimes you make it more difficult than it actually is and getting back to Jerry Glanville he said he he was kidding us and saying that actually with June Jones and in the contract of whether I come and coach here or not is he made him promise he didn't have to wear one of those flowered shirts. And I think by the time that he's done here in Hawaii, falling in love with these Polynesian kids, he'll have on a flowered shirt. Going with that prediction, too. I think we will see that. Glendale White to the two. And fourth and goal from there. So if you're USC, it would appear you're thinking about trying to pound it in and this is a tough place for a head coach. You want your offense to have an attitude that when we get on the two yard line we get seven points. We don't just settle for a field goal but at the same time 49 to 10 you wonder if just getting a field goal and not punching this one in this one in would be a better option right here. Going for it. It's wide of the backfield behind Booty. And the fade. Touchdown, Dwayne Jarrett again. What a day he has had. Seven catches, 88 yards, three touchdowns. And you called it, Dave, a fade. Throw the ball somewhere where a 6'5 receiver can go make a play for you, and that time right there on about a 5'8 corner in Monte, it was no contest. Former Parade All-American, New Jersey High School Player of the Year. The extra point. Five Danello, and it is 56 to 10 USC in the early moments of the fourth quarter. So the five touchdown favorite USC taking command with a 28 point third quarter, sailing the rest of the way. Shelly Smith, one thing I think we, we were definitely convinced of in our conversation with Jared Glanville yesterday was that his decision to return to coaching wasn't just about football, was it? No, it was interesting. He showed us his website, which had a bunch of pictures of a trip he took to Iraq. It was a goodwill ambassador trip. And there he met some of the young soldiers who he said, you know, said, coach, please come back and coach us. There was one day that his convoy was lost. They actually were in Iraq. They didn't have bodyguards. He actually was really scared. And he said right then he promised God that he would coach this generation of kids. It went about starting to find a job. June Jones called and he's here. And he has invigorated not only this program, but June Jones said he's having the most fun he's had in a long time coaching football. It's because Jerry Glanville's on the sidelines. But that guy can talk, can't hey, you guys? Yeah, you know, with, uh, with apologies to um, Tom Brokaw, Jerry Glanville says this is the greatest generation, the generation that's fighting over in Iraq right now. That's how impressed the coach was when he went over as part of the NFL Alumni Association. Spent some time in assault vehicles. Went out on uh, some patrols. And he says, I didn't help them. No matter what I said to them, I was not helping them. They helped me. And he didn't take a trip that uh, was just one of those tourist type situations. He was in the heart of the matter talking to the the kids that get it done on a daily basis over there and he was truly moved by it and I believe changed by it. One thing that's changed is his relationship with June Jones. Brennan with a shovel. And some good yardage for Renee Figa. Those two uh, of course were on the staff at Atlanta and Jerry Glanville was replaced by June Jones. And uh, for a while, there were some hard feelings. And uh, one report said eight years. Another report said 12 years they went without speaking to one another. But June Jones said, I need you here. And Jerry Glanville at that point at age 63, 12 years out of coaching, decided he was ready to help an old friend. And here he is. That 
time. Nice run after the catch by Michael Washington, the true freshman from Tony Dorsett country, Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. Let's get another update from Matt Weiner in the studio. Dave, let's get out to Lincoln, Nebraska, second year, the Bill Callahan era of Cornhusker football. They've got Maine tonight at home. And here come the Black Bears. Ron Whitcomb to Kevin McCann down the sideline. Cut the lead to 15-7 in the fourth quarter. Remember, Maine won that game at Mississippi State last year. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> Starksville is not Lincoln. That stuff's not supposed to happen back there. Could it have fallen that far in Lincoln? Is that, that possible? Absolutely. I was born and raised there, brother, and let me tell you, it has fallen incredibly low, and they're starting to get just a tad bit restless. They're not used to it. The fans aren't. The program isn't as a whole. Callahan had a little grace period. That grace period is starting to dwindle a little bit. And they're going to have to get some results. They're going to have to get those players plugged into the system and start getting it done. No Big 12 North teams ranked preseason. All but Baylor in the Big 12 South are ranked preseason. Bronke trying to go deep, and he had a real shot there at Grice Mullen, who can't hang on. Maybe a little more air under that one, and Gronky has a touchdown to Ryan Grice Mullen. I think you put your finger right on it. A little more air probably gets that done. And number 18, John Walker, who is a veteran player, a senior coming in, and has been more in the nickel package, gets an opportunity to play and looked right at the last minute and got his fingers up. So Kurt Milne to kick it away for the Warriors. Greg Carlson is deep for the Trojans. After a timeout. We talked about that span of 8 to 12 years, whoever you want to listen to, between June Jones and Jerry Glanfield. The interesting thing in that, they both, both about lost their lives during that time, and that still didn't bring them back together. That's pretty amazing. 11.34 to go in a timeout, 56 to 10 for number one, USC. bars in more places that's the goal of the largest digital voice and data network in america so you can be there even when you're not the all over network from singular raising the bar I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Didn't you say something about nachos? Make the night right with Bacardi Silver Premium Malt Beverage. The WNBA playoffs are on ESPN and ESPN. Is Lady Luck on your side? Here's your chance to find out. It's the Gardetto's Poker Classic Sweepstakes, brought to you by Gardetto's. A good bet for poker night. You and a buddy can be off to Las Vegas for six days and have the opportunity to play in a satellite tournament on the World Poker Tour. Get all the details and enter today at GardettosPokerClassic.com. Then grab the Gardettos and catch all the action of the World Poker Tour on the Travel Channel, Wednesdays at 9. It pays to watch. going to find out with Bench America's Best of the Best Amateur Competition, powered by Jiffy Loop, the well-oiled machine. Look for the Jiffy Loop fitness team at Export Fitness and enter to see if you are the best of the best. Maintain your body and your car with Bench America and Jiffy Loop. Meet the Jiffy Loop fitness team at Export Fitness and Jiffy Loop stores. Log on to BenchAmerica.com for schedule information and print a coupon for $6 off your next oil change. We'll see you there. ESPN 2's College Football Saturday Primetime, brought to you by Singular, Raising the Bar, and Smooth Bush Beer.
and easy drinking Bush Light. Not too far from here on the island of Oahu, 5610 USC, 11:34 to go. Kurt Milne kicking it away for the Warriors. Angles this one out of bounds. It will be marked at the 30. And let's go down to Shelly Smith. It was interesting talking with Terry Glanville yesterday. He talked about his race car driving career and showed us photos of the big crash that he was in where most of his body was burned. And then he pulled up his side of his shorts and said, you know, that's where my skin graft went. That went to my arm. So now my arm is my leg and my neck is my stomach. But he almost died. He thought he was dead. They had to resuscitate him. He's been flatlined three times. And then he had to resuscitate him and put a tube down his throat. He's very lucky to be alive. And that, again, plays into the trip to Iraq. He said, God saved me to go to Iraq to coach in now to coach these boys. So. It's had, it's had a rough go of it, but those skin grafts were something. Skin graft, eight broken ribs. His head hit the concrete wall in Phoenix. I have this question. Now, I am nobody's uh, idea of an expert on auto racing, but 63-year-old Jerry Glanville, 80-year-old Paul Newman, racing cars. How does that happen? I, I mean, is I'm there no? Sure. Is obviously there is no. Answer. I think there's a. I think there should be a speed limit. I think at least there should be a speed limit. If there's no age limit, then there has to be a speed limit. Well, God love them for being willing to, but God's obviously also watching over them to give them a chance to live the race again. Lindale White on this kid. Well, that's what he said. You know, he felt he didn't know for sure why. He was spared, his life was spared during that wreck. And he felt that when he went to Iraq, that's when it became clear to him that he's supposed to do something to affect and help this generation of, of young people. And, and so here he is. The man in black is back. We forgot to ask him if he still is going to leave tickets for Elvis, though. I didn't, we, you forgot to cover that. One of the most famous Elvis concerts ever, right here in Honolulu. One of the first satellite concerts. In fact, I got extra credit one time in science because my teacher was an Elvis fan, and because I watched Elvis live from Hawaii, I didn't have to do homework. That made me an Elvis fan. Gain of 12, another Maine, Nebraska update. Matt Weiner, how close is that one then? Oh, we can't get enough of the black bears and the cornhuskers. It's a little more comfortable in Lincoln if you're a Nebraska fan. Bo Rude steps in front of the pass and there goes Bo into the end zone. It's 22-7. Lincoln leads nine minutes and change to go in the fourth quarter. Coming up, Mercedes Lewis, the man to watch for UCLA. Seven touchdowns from the tight end position last season. UCLA opening up on the road just down the coast at San Diego State. Right after you. Well, the arch rival Trojans having their way with the Warriors here. Flag down. Desmond Reed. Sophomore from San Gabriel took the toss sweep. USC here by 46. A clear number one, and in fact, by a record margin, the preseason polls had USC by a wider margin than any number one had ever enjoyed. Upside, defense, number 33, five yard penalty, repeat first down. Texas a consensus number two, but a distant number two. USC with 60 of the AP first place uh, votes, and Texas 60 to three over Louisiana Lafayette. Tennessee not nearly that easy time with UAB. Tennessee, I think, is a real deal. Though. I think that's the legitimate chance if they can take care of business to at least get to the championship game against this Trojan team. Fumble snap, Booty pops on it at the 48. The LSU North Texas game had to be postponed because of the hurricane. It was uh, scheduled for today in Baton Rouge. And when the facilities and the time allow it, that game will be played at some point. But LSU unable to open their season today. Big shock, of course, was uh, the Oklahoma home loss to TCU, 17 to 10 in Norman. Booty, blitz is picked up. The overthrows Patrick Turner. 
High school All-America, true freshman from Nashville. Ohio State a winner. There's the Oklahoma loss. Virginia Tech in action tomorrow. Miami and uh, Florida State Monday. And Florida begins its new era under Urban Meyer. Also with a win today. And there was actually one vote to Louisville, of all people. I think some some writer that didn't uh, quite get the concept. Apparently. No, you know what? I, I know exactly why Louisville. Well, I, I heard his reasoning, but I just think that that's antiquated to say the least. I think it's sound reasoning because if you look at the teams that have a shot to run the table, USC is going to play a tougher schedule than Louisville. Texas is going to play a much tougher schedule. So if it comes down to a an undefeated team from a BCS conference, Louisville now in the Big East, I think there's some logic there. Not saying it'll happen, but I, I see <laughs> the reason. I, I think you're voting for the best team in the order that you think they are. You're not voting for who's going to be undefeated. I don't. I don't think that really is the thought behind the whole process. And undefeated may not get you to the championship game. Now conceivably, there could be an undefeated team, Louisville, that actually loses out to a team with one loss. Best bobbled the first USC punt of the day by Taylor Odegaard. And that kind of day for the Trojan offense. 491 total yards. 56-10. USC has started the defense of their national title in style. Here comes the next contestant. beer audits in the course of the year. We test the temperature. We look at the color. Marketers think we're crazy. They're just looking at the head, looking at everything, and I don't know what they're looking for. We check the lines in the faucets, and we also go and check Sam Adams' keg dates downstairs. If it's not fresh, we buy it back. When we have festivals here, we put out-of-code beer in the tank. People try to throw a ball and dunk him in some old Sam Adams. I'd rather put people into stale beer than stale beer into people. This Labor Day weekend, hurry to Lowe's for great values. Now get a $25 gift card free when you spend $99 or more on Werner ladders and accessories. Also, every 50-pound bag of Quick Creek Concrete is now only $1.79. What's more, use your Lowe's card and pay nothing for 12 months on all purchases of $299 or more. You see, nobody works harder to save you money every day. That's our promise. So this Labor Day weekend, hurry to Lowe's for great values. Bush has been watching most of this second half is number one ranked Trojans leading 56 to 10 739 to play and from their eight yard line Warriors take it first down Brennan shovel pass Michael Washington slung down and should have a first down and let's get a preview of UCLA San Diego State from Pam Ward. 
Dave, a beautiful night for football as UCLA and San Diego State open their seasons against each other. We'll see a couple of great running backs. Maurice Drew ran for over 1,000 yards last year for UCLA. And Lionel Hamilton playing his first game in 22 months back from a broken ankle for San Diego State. We'll join you soon from the mainland. Southern California rivalry there. USC has had no ill effects from the four hour or so flight from LA into Honolulu. As again, it's Michael Washington on the catch. You know, the one hope that Hawaii has when they bring teams out here, usually it's a longer flight than what USC have. They hope they get them out here a few days in advance and they get caught up in the island uh, laid back attitude and they go to the beach and they go do some sightseeing and Pete Carroll had that completely figured out he did all the beaching and the sightseeing in Southern California before they even got on the flight. <laughs> they went to a beach volleyball tournament in California they went to the beach in California they had all that out of the system. He, he's quite the psychologist and he is certainly the master of this Trojan domain and he he understands the things that this team's going to have to deal with in order to make history here. And, and that's one of the things. He has a home here. And so he understands what happens. I mean, it doesn't take long with this Polynesian lifestyle to come over here and, and just be relaxed out of your mind. And it's not necessarily the way you want to go into the defensive uh, two-time defending national championship. Very good way to put it. Relaxed out of your mind. I see a lot of people relaxed out of their mind. Unintentionally. Yeah, sometimes you see it out when you're trying to get from point A to point B out on the highways is where you see it. They're not, they're in no big hurry to go anywhere. Michael Washington hangs on. You saw it, now let's hear it. Wow. Thomas yeah. Williams Woo. on the hit. I don't know about you, but I am really glad I'm up here. Michael Washington is five five about a buck fifty five and you just hope that he's too quick to have a hit like that put on him very often. Brennan still the quarterback USC has a week off before they host Arkansas September 17th. They go to Oregon the 24th Arizona State October 1st host Arizona October 8th go to Notre Dame the 15th to Washington the 22nd Washington State at home the 29th Stanford at home the 5th they go to Cal November 12th that may be the biggest test and then the Fresno State won't be easy certainly UCLA December 3rd yeah. never easy yeah there's a few landmines in that schedule and I heard somebody say well they don't really have a hard schedule there's not a top a preseason top 16 team Bronke overthrows Washington if you compare the teams there closest to in the ratings defensively I think Texas can say they're pretty close to USC the biggest difference is in receiving Texas in no way matches up with USC in terms of receiving in terms of quarterback Vince Young in no way can throw it like liner but he can run it about as well as Reggie Bush yeah that's that's a great comparison I think Texas has a legitimate shot mainly because we saw what what has become of Oklahoma at least for another year or two but Texas also has a defense that has an opportunity to play against this Trojan offense not many people can say that Bronke stepping up Bryce Mullen nice yardage after the catch to the 33 I think that I think that early in the season at least the potential trouble spots are going to Eugene to play Oregon. Hudson Stadium is is probably the most difficult place to play in the Pac-10. And during this 22 game winning streak USC hasn't had to go up there yet. And so they have to do that early in the year and face a Gary Croton offense in Oregon now that has the ability to score points and test this defense from USC early in the season. Cowboy, cowboy. Hurts is picked up shuffle pass is uh, today farmer what the teams that are competing with USC got to hope for is that they have an off week and the teams that are in this category you back to 
94 95 Nebraska they lost twice the next year Bama late 70s 10 and 2 Oklahoma mid 70s 9 2 and 1 in 76 Nebraska 70 and 71 also 9 2 and 1 so it, it, the history of the teams that are where USC is now is at some points the luck runs out but the concentration runs out but not in this case. Terrific concentration on the grab by Dylan Linkner for 22 yards. A very good job of finishing the play with Linkner right at the end. Tyler Gronk and then tuck the ball away and take the shot. Tyler Gronke made a great throw. He recognized the press coverage. His receiver got quickly outside and he drove the ball in there. Sometimes it's not just throwing it to the right guy. It's throwing the right ball to the right guy. So Gronke on first and goal. And again Linker. Just a couple here. Down to 315 to play. June Jones says USC is as talented a team as he has ever seen. He thinks the starting 11 at offense will all play in the NFL, and two or three of the second teamers are going to play in the NFL. Yeah, that's that's just I mean that just shouldn't happen in the in the world today. It's amazing the talent that this program has, and it's a it's a self-feeding program at this point. The blue chip players out in high schools all over the country want to compete in this environment. You would think they would shy away at this point. It attracts them in droves. A marker down, incomplete for Ryan Grice Mullen in the back of the end zone. The teams that have come closest to three peats a long way back. Army. Legal formation, offense. Only six men on the line of scrimmage. The penalty is declined. Third down. Army in 44 and 45 won the national title. 1946, they finished second. Notre Dame won it in 46 and 47. In 1948, they finished second. Those are the two that have come closest to the three Pete that Pete Carroll's trying to pull off with USC this year. And there's obviously a reason people don't three Pete. We lose perspective because we're talking about three. It's hard enough to win one. I mean, the things that had to go right for this USC program over the last two seasons. You know, they've had to overcome a lot of things. People leaving, they had to reload. They they haven't had to rebuild yet, which is the difference because they have talent kind of stockpiled, but they've had some close calls and they've they've gotten through every time. Hawaii timeout, 236 to play. They trail at USC 5610, but they're trying to make it look a little. You see him in your rearview mirror, and suddenly you're the world's best driver. You hit the brakes, hang up the cell phone, use your turn signal. Sound familiar? Allstate knows there's a good driver in each of us. A police car shouldn't be the only thing that brings it out. So Allstate cuts safe drivers a break, up to 20%. Reward works better than punishment. That's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? Mr. Peanut may not talk, but he does speak the international language of fresh taste. Well said, Mr. Peanut. Well said. Planters. Famously fresh taste. Oh, I believe this gets wrong like that. The nominees for the Major League Baseball Comeback Player of the Year Award, sponsored by Pfizer, are now online. Vote, and you may win a trip to throw out a ceremonial first pitch at the World Series. After the timeout, Hawaii's last 236 to go, third down and goal from the seventh. With Tyler Gronke, still the quarterback. And the short toss should get him six, does. Touchdown, Dave Farmer. A well spent timeout for June Jones. And a little something, maybe, to build on for next week. That's what it takes, is the little things have to start going right before you can do any bigger things. And 
June Jones, Jerry Glanville, they understand that it's a process. They're very young. They'll get it done little bits and pieces at a time. And Kelly for the extra point. And it's 56 17 with two and a half minutes to go. UCLA San Diego State coming up as soon as we finish from here. We go to San Diego from Honolulu. 50,000 here. 50,000 were here for June Jones' first game as Hawaii head coach back in 1999. It happened to be against USC. They happened to get it handed to them. But that year ended as the greatest turnaround in the history of NCAA D1 football. They were winless the year before, 0 and 12. They won nine games, even starting with that blowout loss to USC in 1999. From that point on, Hawaii has been a very competitive program. Eight and five Hawaii Bowl champs last year. That's what Jerry Glanville talked about when he came here and looked at the schedule. He said, Coach, I need a couple of preseason games to get ready. And he said, June Jones told him, you have two preseason games, USC and then Michigan State. And then we start our conference, so get ready. Side kick backfires recovered by Colin Ashton who returns it to the 26 yard line for the Trojans and let's check in with Matt Weiner in the studio. Dave Carl Durrell and Tom Kraft pregame at San Diego State UCLA and the Aztecs have already begun. We will get you there as soon as USC and Hawaii complete. That's not too far away, 225 remaining here. And UCLA, part of that California schedule at the at the end of this year for USC. They have to play all of those California schools with the exception of San Diego State. And they all, I think, are troubled games. And one of those has an opportunity to rise up and end this whole thing. Booty's still the quarterback. Desmond Reed, the tailback. They try to run down the clock. Hawaii is out of timeouts. The USC has to go to Berkeley. They have to play Stanford, UCLA, and also this year they have to play Fresno State that comes to the Coliseum late in the year. Those represent some tough times. If they can get through that, these guys deserve to be history making in that sense. Well, improved to 6-0 against Hawaii, including in a couple of national championship seasons, 78 and 2003, they beat Hawaii. This will be their 23rd straight win, their 10th straight on the road. They have never lost an opening game following any of their first 10 national championships, and that streak continues. Eight straight opening game victories overall. And they go to 26 and 1 against the WAC. Only Fresno State has uh, a WAC team has ever knocked off USC back in the early 90s. I believe the now defunct Freedom Bowl. Desmond Reed again, the ball carrier. Not really sure how much we learned about USC that we didn't already know. We know that uh, Leinert is poised to uh, try and make it two straight Heisman, but we also know that he's going to have to fight off a couple of teammates, including Reggie Bush, who carried 12 times for 86 yards, two touchdowns. Smith, seven catches, 185 yards and a touchdown. Leinert, 18 for 24, 332 yards, three touchdowns and one pick. Reed again. What a cutback. And a touchdown to cap it off for USC. Desmond Reed, 29 yards. That is their third team tailback. 
very good vision. There is nothing obviously right there. Seeing it to the backside, his quarterback gets out there in front of him, but he really didn't have a whole lot to do. But that's exactly what USC has in place currently. There's there at least two deep, sometimes in this case three deep at the running back position. Extra point by Danello. 63-17 with nine seconds to go. Desmond is only 5'9", 180. He gets lost in that, that sea of big bodies, and all of a sudden he comes squirting out the backside, and by that time it was way too late. They didn't have an angle on him whatsoever. If you're looking for something to... Uh, yeah, tell me what that something is. You're looking is. for something. Well, they, they allowed 360 passing yards, but yeah. to Hawaii, that's business as usual. They have outgained Hawaii 518 total yards to four corners. Big thing is, though, they've rolled up a 42-point second half. 7-3 after the first quarter. 21-3 at the half. 63-17. With nine seconds standing between a 23-game winning streak for USC. Island Fever didn't get him. Jim Jones and Jerry Glanville saw the Trojans at their best. The way everybody's seen him for three years now. Andre Taylor stepped out of bounds at the 42. As time runs out on a 39-yard return. So number one looks like number one. A 23-game winning streak now for Matt Leinert and the USC Trojans. 63-17 over Hawaii. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Let's take you out to San Diego and join Pam Ward. And welcome to San Diego. You have just met... Don't make your girlfriend angry. CSI back-to-back -back episodes weeknights at 7 on Spike TV.